Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I had to think about what day it was. I get all thrown off, like, changing up my screens. I'm excited. I'm gearing up for a nice, cozy art stream. I'm gonna do some baking. We're gonna work more on Mincy's model. I've done uh, some off stream, not like a ton. <laughs> Hi, Ferris. Welcome. How's your Monday? One day I'm gonna remember. God. Hi, Frozen. I'm good. I hope I hope you're both doing good. So far, so chill. That's good. Hey, Zeron! <laughs> of course! Of course, you, don't, you do not have to thank me. I had fun in the, in the collab charity stream yesterday. Today is gonna be a very different vibe. It's gonna be... <laughs> very laid back and cozy. Also... I haven't had lunch yet. So I'm going to... <laughs> very quickly eat half a bagel. <laughs> I hope you do not mind. <laughs> Just tell me... Uh, tell me what your plans... If you have any plans for Christmas, you have anything you're looking forward to? There's maybe some, some things you're hoping to get for Christmas? Oh gosh, sorry. That was loud! Hmm. Hmm. Eating ASMR is <laughs> Until I, I smash the plate onto my desk and it's very loud. <laughs> hmm? I'm sorry to hear that, Frozen. I hope that you... Continue to feel better. I hope anxiety goes away. And anxiety is no fun. Yeah, hanging out with people, having a nice cozy afternoon is always a good way for me to cheer up. So hopefully, hopefully I can help you cheer up a bit. Around. I thought you actually meant goats at first. <laughs> You're looking forward and very nervous about how your dad will react to his gift. Are you getting like a like a funny haha gag gift? <laughs> or is it just maybe something unexpected? How are you doing, Light? I'm quickly eating the bagel. Before we start, because I didn't, I did not eat lunch. I decided to hang out for a few minutes and eat my bagel rather than postpone the stream. Like eat. Usually very cozy here. You got pretty happy when you noticed. Like, <gasps> frozen. You're gonna make me blush. Stop it. Still running on coffee. Oh gosh, my coffee is gone. I probably should get more coffee, but I try, I really try not to drink more than a cup of, of coffee a day because I don't want to get, like, I'm already, I already have, like, a, a caffeine addiction because I get caffeine headaches, but I don't want it to be so bad that I, that caffeine does nothing unless I drink, like, five cups of coffee or something, you know? Frozen. Veronica says I'm drawing 
painting a picture of your last two dogs. Aww. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. I bet he'll love it. That's always a, a very tough thing to deal with. But it's still it's still nice to have all of the memories and everything. I've had I've had pets in my whole life, so I I know what it feels like when they pass on. They never they never truly leave your heart. And personally, actually, I was looking through some old uh, pet photos today, and I ran I came across a couple pets that are no longer here couple different ones so it's like one of those bittersweet things because it makes it makes me smile to to look at pictures and videos of them and remember them but it is it is bittersweet because they're no longer here so they don't know you're working on it Simone? That's a good surprise. I'm assuming that's what you mean by no, they don't. <laughs> yes, I did ask what your, your Christmas plans are. You're not doing anything for Christmas? <laughs> oh no! Your family and you are going to celebrate little tomorrow. Oh, on the winter solstice. Uh huh. I think that counts. I mean, maybe you're not, like, celebrating the same holiday the way everybody else does, but you're still spending time with your family for, for the holidays at the end of the year. That counts. Your sister knows, and now they don't. I mean, your beloved pets never... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, they never leave. They never go away. That's where they belong. I actually found some pictures of, of a kitty cat that I had as, as a small T-Rex, as a baby T-Rex. That I wasn't expecting to find. So like, it was really, it was really nice, it was really cute. I have a lot of silly photos of that kitty cat. <laughs> It's hard not to miss them. I don't want... Oh gosh, I don't want to talk about <laughs> sad things too much. I have two lovely kitty cats right now. Honestly, one of the things that I do... I know not everybody can do this. But when I get sad thinking about pets that are no longer around, I just like... Of course... Of course, remember them. And, and, and love them and miss them and don't forget about them, but I try to channel it into showing love and, and pets and cuddles and affection for the animals that I still have because they deserve it too. Hey squirrels! <laughs> What's up? Baby T-Rex where T stands for Tiny <laughs> Wait, Why did I think of Tiny Kong? Donkey Kong with the little pigtails. <laughs> What's up, mad squirrels? We're hanging out while I eat a little bit before we get started. While I'm talking about Christmas plans and things. I need to the big brain. <laughs> I feel nervous saying big brain because sometimes big brain goes kaput. Because you like monkeys? I don't know. I think it was just tiny because it was the same name. Tiny... Tiny Kong was... My favorite, I think. And probably like Diddy Kong. I don't remember all of them. You just got home ready to relax? <gasps> you are- you are in the right place. You are gonna have a nice, cozy, laid-back... Art- Art slash rigging stream. Dixie Kong was the pigtail one? 
Hmm. There was one with a ponytail. And there's one with, with like the twin tails. You're gonna make me put down my bagel so I can <laughs> so I can look this up. Let me see. Tiny Kong. That is the one I was thinking of. The one with like the twin twin tails. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot she has like a little beanie and little like overalls. And Dixie Kong? Is that the one with the ponytail the pink? Yeah. I forgot about Dixie Kong. I wonder what the difference is. Are they related? <laughs> I don't know the lore. <laughs> yeah, there are two. The Big Tails was, uh, yeah, Donkey Kong 64. And Trixie was the... What was that? What was that? Oh my gosh, what was that game called? It was like... Super Nintendo, I think? It was Dixie Kong and, and Diddy Kong. It was like platforming stuff. Just Oh, it's just Donkey Kong 3. Okay. I can't believe there are that many Kongs. You were pretty much only aware of the Donkey Kong. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how they all came to be, but yes, there's a lot of them. I remember, was it, was it Lanky Kong with the long arms? There's like a really big buff one. I don't remember that one's name. Chunky? Was it that chunky? <laughs> Were there only four of them? That doesn't seem right. There was more than four of them in 64, right? I'm eating so slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Faster if you want to sit in silence. <laughs> the Kong clan. Oh gosh. I like DK too. <laughs> it's like the right amount of cheesy. Oh my god, there's so many. Cranky Kong. Wait, there's a wrinkly Kong? Donkey Kong Jr. <gasps> Kitty Kong, Funky Kong, Candy Kong, Swanky Kong, Lanky Kong, Tiny Kong, Chunky Kong. Oh my god. Their base of operations, Donkey Kong Island. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I am a teeny tiny wreck. I can only nipple. You must be patient. Look, when I don't eat, I get bullied and told to just eat on stream. And I eat on stream and I get bullied. <laughs> I can't win! <gasps> bagel. This is actually my last bagel. I have no more bagels after this. Until I get more. And I still have a bunch of the, like, green cheese left. So I probably need to get more bagels. Bully? No, Damien, why? Why would you bully me? <laughs> Is it on it? Oh my god! Ah, yeah, hello! <laughs> Fro has returned <laughs> some tea. What did she just return to? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, nothing is happening. Troll continued trolling from yesterday. <laughs> now you know how Kira feels. I don't 
know. I think she handles it very well. She may even enjoy it. She maybe she likes the bully. Hmm? Oh no, Dave! I saw you yesterday in the charity stream, and you said I don't remember what was happening, but you, you I don't know if you I hope you were joking. It looked like you freaked out a little bit, and you're like, "This is not my beloved home," or something. They were probably being lewd. Flips. You're absolutely joking. <laughs> it's like, oh no, what if I sent somebody to <laughs> something they were not expecting? <laughs> she probably does it, Kara. Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe it's just an acceptance. Because <laughs> that's how everybody treats it. <laughs> At least I'm not getting called a power bottle. That would be awkward. I still don't entirely get it because, like, I googled it, right? Because I'm an innocent dino. And I just kind of glanced over and was like, oh, I don't want to read this. <laughs> I feel like here's the type that when chat would threaten to do something, she'd be like, do it, coward. Yeah! <laughs> like, come at me. Super innocent, too pure. Maybe it. Maybe too much. The most pure and innocent YouTuber. <gasps> do I need to. Do I need to start using the, the, the bad language? The no no words. We gotta tone down this expectation of purity. <laughs> when you hold up, no, no! I know, that was the point! That was the joke. Go down that rabbit hole. I might start saying the try the words like heck. I probably already say heck. So pure that I have a thigh jib team and <laughs> I call you new jetter. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Sometimes I read I read the the stuff uh, auto mod blocks before I unlock. <laughs> I just read it out. One day I'm gonna read something that I shouldn't because I got blocked for real. <laughs> By the way, do I have my animated emotes yet? <gasps> they didn't approve them. At least it hasn't up it hasn't refreshed for me. Oh, I jiggle. Okay. Cool. Let let's do it. You have only seen the jiggle. <laughs> okay, let's back up a little bit. Make sure you have a good view. <laughs> Wait, who likes what now? <laughs> You know, whatever you do, just don't make Kira hate me, okay? <laughs> the jiggle is real. And you can have you can have more because I'm still eating bagel. Oh god. I just clicked on OBS to try to fix this. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> My nails? <gasps> yes. So my nails, I've never... You're the first person who's even brought them up, actually. Frozen. <laughs> so my nails... They're kind of like... 
I wanted to do something that kind of resembled like claws, right? But without going like full claw. So they're just really long nails. <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> yes. Here's the thing though. Trying. Oh my god. If I try and, and do the hand rigging stuff. Oh my god. That's going to be awful to try to do it with those nails too. <laughs> you know what? Just for just for fun while I'm eating. Let's let's go let's go full body. For a minute. Nobody gets to see my tail that often, and I put a lot of put a lot of work into making my tail pretty. I even put a bow on it. I want people to see. Wait, Terry's that super wholesome gal that you're like, aw, cute, and then she waves and you see the four inch claws. <laughs> I'm cute, but intimidating. Getting a lot of tail today. Yes. Scratching an itch must be dangerous? No. You just have to be delicate. You have to be gentle. Long nails aren't that bad. Yes. Tail. I'm kind of sad. I won't get to use this model soon. It'll be gone. <gasps> Forever. Wait, first time seeing Terra after Terra waves. No! Don't leave! <laughs> It's fine. It's perfectly safe. You can trust me. <laughs> I just noticed... Damien. And Discord doesn't show you... As a Twitch sub. Weird. Hmm. I guess if you don't have them linked, I wouldn't. Can I do it manually? Will it let me? Because it's kind of controlled by Twitch, actually. I don't know if it'll let me. Oh my god. It actually will not let me manually add that role. Twitch Twitch is, is, has has hacked. No. Twitch should not have like more control over my own server than me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess they have to be linked. Ooh. Okay. That's my gut reaction. <laughs> what was he? He got me eating a bagel. You get the gut reaction, yeah. gonna last me because it was only half a bagel. Can you believe it took me that long to eat half a bagel? I was chatting. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll try and say cozy if you prefer that. <laughs> Chat has that effect on streamers, gut reactions. I don't know. A lot of times when I read weird stuff, I have like no reaction. I have to think like, wait, <laughs> what the heck am I supposed to say to that? Like being called a bottom? Jeez, ironic. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Where's the 
we're starting out in Photoshop once again. Because I have <laughs> I have more things that I need I need to fix. Or rather there was something I was I was working on the rig a bit uh, yesterday after my collab. And I I found something else I wanted to separate. You can see you made a lasting impression. <laughs> I suppose you did, Zerone. <laughs> have a good lurk lake. I had to go back and fix things. The bald head was too powerful. <laughs> the bald head is powerful! Yes. This is why... I prefer... Well, okay, I have it. I haven't actually rigged a model that wasn't my own art, but I'm a little bit nervous too, just because I like having the flexibility to go... Oh, no. Don't freeze. Please! <gasps> you can do it. This file is kind of massive, so it might be a little laggy. But I like having the flexibility to go back and, and just grab whatever I want. <laughs> Coming together so well. Thank you, Aya! That's so shiny and black. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Making the mesh for for the head face was so laggy. Even when I wasn't streaming, because I had to finish it off stream, it was still lagging. Maybe I just had too many points in it. That might have been it. So What I want to grab is okay, like this the part back here. I want to see if I can separate it because otherwise, when I do like the head angles and stuff, it doesn't line up properly. I didn't really think about it beforehand because like like on mine well first of all I have this like a little center part back there but it's also very small. <gasps> yes! If you would also like to draw and just hang out, I encourage it. I'm more than happy that, that anyone would want to to hang out with me and draw. It's freezing it's not your fault. <laughs> So, but here's the thing, I need to figure out what everything is now. And then probably wait for it to load. I mean, that is the right layer, right? Yeah. I have to find where it is, and it's probably on like multiple layers. Oh, don't lag this much, please! We want... We want shiny? Oh no, it's on so many layers. Okay. <laughs> the snow is cute. Thank you! How cozy. <laughs> it's actually... Um... It's actually just called Snowverlay. It's uh, like a browser source. So anybody can use it, and you just you just put it in like OBS as a browser source after you configure it. It does take a little bit of like processing power because I found out the hard way that I cannot run it during collabs. <laughs> yes, it's a really cute pun, like snow overlay, but snow overlay. <laughs> oh dear! Wait! Oh dear! What? <gasps> Oh, Frozen, you're gonna be lurking while playing a game. You wanna stay cozy? <gasps> yes, do it, do it. I always lurk. Well, okay, I almost always lurk when I watch streams, so... It is always okay to lurk. <laughs> it's usually when I get a lot of, like, drawing and stuff done. Oh no, it's so many layers! <laughs> Why? Okay. 
Okay, also this is lagging so much. Maybe. Because I don't want to merge anything in this file. This is like my master, my color master. So I'll copy folder. And we go over here to the weird looking one. <laughs> You looked it up so cute. Yes! Yes, yes. I think I, I found it on Twitter, so... It's very easy to use. Okay, I'm gonna turn all these things back on and then... Boop! <laughs> Goodbye, head. Wait, wait, just reacting to finding out the hard way during collabs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, uh, Portal 2 with Aya, actually. I had it on, I had the snow overlay on. It was just lagging so bad. I was like, what the heck happened? I just started, like, okay, what did I change <laughs> from the last collab? Like, it, it looks very innocent. You wouldn't think. It would have any kind of effect. But as soon as I turned it off, everything just got so, so smooth. All the lag went away. <laughs> it's interesting. Maybe... I wonder if, if Discord is the reason why lag... Why uh, collabs get so laggy for me. Because I can do, like, so much stuff when I'm streaming by myself that I can't do... For a collab. Well, that's separated. Oh. There's a line, and that, and then I have this whole base. It's separated. But I just, I just want to like grab this part. One day I will be a master at drawing the like, back of the head. <laughs> Always the little things to do. Yeah, if you feel that you made a really cute Christmas background for chat. Oh, too chatted, but your PC was killing itself. Oh no! You deleted a scene with it and everything was fine again. Aww. <laughs> Get a ton of individual objects. Mm, yeah, yeah. It can it can definitely add up. Like I try and keep all of my scenes pretty clean, but there's still lots of different sources. So many different sources. <laughs> I hope that. Maybe you could figure something out, like... If there's anything you can, like, merge down so they're not all, like, individual pieces, maybe? I don't know. I'd have to see it. Not see it. Let me... Controls, Shift, and V. Paste in place. Then... Okay, so I don't need the line. I also don't need the shiny bit, because that's separated too. Hmm... How am I going to be able to do this without it looking weird? Yeah, I don't think I need that. I'm just deleting the things I don't need. <laughs> just literally the rest of this is all part of the head. Okay. Okay, so maybe... If I merge all of these pieces together... I know it looks really weird right now because it's not clipped. Let's take. This maybe. Oh god. Is this gonna cut weird somewhere? Maybe. I 
know it looks really wonky, but this is one reason why it's super helpful to have drawn it myself. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have probably had to like redraw things. Hey, Mortimer! How's it going? How's your Monday? Want. Actually, I want this, um, main base. Yeah, because I want, I think I still want, the, like, the rest of the shading on it. that'll help it's your wednesday it's not wednesday is it no it's not oh my god <laughs> don't confuse me like that you've been curious what does my roar sound like <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty weak <laughs> your wednesday what does your wednesday mean wouldn't it be Tuesday? How can you be that far ahead? <laughs> it sounds... Are you ready? It sounds... Kinda... Kinda like... <gasps> like that. <laughs> I'm adorable, thank you, thank you, squirrels. They're midweek. Oh, you started work two days ago. Oh! I thought you meant like some weird time zone -y thing. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Yes, that's my little, that's my little roar. The cutest roar. <laughs> Thanks. I do not have the vocal range for, for much else. It's just ra. That's when I use quotation marks. That's fair, that's fair. My bad, my bad. Because... If I remember correctly, you told me that you are basically, like, nocturnal. So I, I thought maybe that's what you meant by being, like, a day ahead. <laughs> Can I do, like, a screamo growl? No? <laughs> First of all, I don't know how. Secondly... Doing a lot of that without being properly, like, trained in how to do it, you can actually mess up your voice. <laughs> hey, Kira! <laughs> we weren't talking about you earlier. Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. It didn't happen. <laughs> Have you recovered from yesterday? <laughs> that folder. You are recovered? <gasps> that's good, that's good. I don't think I would have recovered that quickly. You were so, you were so tired by the end of it. <laughs> I could hear it in your voice. <laughs> wait, 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 now you have... <gasps> oh! Oh, that clip. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Nope. Wait, how do I disable links? How do I disable links? No, wait! Wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. Wait, hold on. There's gonna be an echo for a second. Oh, wait, no, there's not. I don't even have my own page open. Okay, whatever. Hold on. Settings. La la la. La 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 la. Mo moderation, maybe. Hmm. 
Ah, here we are. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You can post it. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, clip links are modded for Hutana? <laughs> Give up to Kira P Raptor Girl. <laughs> he is for Pretty Raptor. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, on phones you can't really enjoy it. Can you not can you not see clips in the app very well? I don't honestly I don't watch streams uh, on mobile very often. <laughs> you can't even have to leave. Ah. Actually, since you're here, Kira, I was curious. For your Discord, do you how do you feel about people like if I posted clips of our collab from my stream? Would that be okay? Oh, and I, I didn't really announce it, but... Uh, in, in my Discord, I made... I finally made the clip channel uh, available to everybody to post clips. <laughs> and I am perfectly... I'm... Wait, ask again. Yes, okay. So, like... Can I post clips of my stream from our collab? Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Everyone has their own preferences. <laughs> I haven't really gone through the whole thing to clip it yet, but I find a good one. I think. I think it may involve some. Ada ada. Possibly. Oh God, I forgot. I never get anything done. And why are there two? Wait, am I... Am I done with this one? Wait. Wait. Wait, what did I do? Why did I copy this so many times? Wait, I'm so confused right now. What? Oh dear, what did I do? <gasps> you know what? I was hitting a bunch of keybinds while I was like tabbed out or something and it did it did stop in my photoshop <laughs> the duo dino ada ada was adorable <gasps> i'm glad yes good job job on the charity i hope you can hear my claps can you hear the claps <laughs> you did really good i want to know what their reaction is also i really hope they don't see all of like the messages, the donation messages, because oh my god, panic! I I would not have written that if I thought that that they would actually read it. <laughs> I really hope they don't. <laughs> Zeronic says, "I think the best one is when you gave." Oh, I gave you refugee status. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What do you mean? Yeah. They don't see it, right? Or you mean you you would also... You said something funny too, Gather, so... <laughs> I'm glad your head is better, though. This head, on the other hand, is not good because somehow I have three different copies of this. And I don't know what I, what I did. <laughs> okay. Okay, delete them. De delete. Good. Okay, how did I how did I manage that? Also, I need to keep that mask just to be safe. Did you hit a high goal? <gasps> yes, Kirby says a two thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't even know of that many clowns. I can think of like Wait, what's, what's the one 
There's the one from, from It or whatever. There's like Ronald McDonald. And... That one like painting of the crying clown. That's famous for some reason. That's all I can think of Pennywise. Okay. And yeah, that one famous painting of the crying clown. <laughs> Need to ask your Discord for clown recommendations. Yeah. There are tons. You're surprised. Oh, the you're surprised I knew about the painting? I'm not sure where I first saw it, but I don't know why I thought of that. I guess I was just trying to think of clowns, and clowns are creepy. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I do have... I do have a list of more things to fix. Turn... That looks weird. <laughs> Floating mincy head. I didn't tell her... That, that, that I'm working on it. Because I always get really anxious when she's watching. <laughs> hey, Gacy? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no. Not a lot of people know about the painting. I'll have to find it and I'll put I'll put it in your Discord here, the painting. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, you're not into clowns. You don't really know that many. So how did that even become a thing? <laughs> You love the star freckles? <gasps> Thank you. I did have I did have a reference to work off of. Uh, it's not my it's not my design, but it is my my interpretation of the design. Nox Nox did it. Oh, Wait, a, a violet violator from spawn. What? Oh God. John was John Wayne B Basty? Or however you spell his name, the one that dressed up as a clown. You don't get why people feel clowns are creepy, they're sad and tragic. I mean, I'm not genuinely afraid of clowns. I just don't particularly enjoy them in any way possible. Also, my only experience with clowns is like, as, I don't know, in like horror movies and horror games and stuff. We did a horror bang, Mary Kill, and Pennywise was one of the options. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, it's like how did how did this even happen? The one from Dead by Daylight. Oh, there is a clown in Dead by Daylight. That's true. I don't think he's that popular though. I don't know. I don't. I literally played Dead by Daylight exactly one time. And I'd be happy to play it again, except, like, I don't I feel like it's the kind of game I'd only want to play with friends. What am I even working on? I've accepted that I may not get a lot done when I stream this. <laughs> when I was rigging it, there was like. A tiny little bit of transparency, like a, a hole in it somewhere. Maybe if I turn... Oh no, I don't see anything. It, it looks fine, but I could have sworn... In Live 2D I saw something. Hmm... I don't know. Space space in. I think I fixed that. Shadow. See, I wrote these like notes. It's to do list like too long ago, and now I don't even know what I'm referencing anymore. I did. Maybe I already fixed them actually. I've already done it. 
Let's just turn everything back on. Okay, so this one we save. <laughs> I love I love that you're all just talking about clowns, right? <laughs> Zeronic says it's because he's fat. That's why they don't like the clown? No. <laughs> it's because... I don't think he's actually, like, very good. Like, compared to the other options to, as killer. <gasps> Hello! Trippin' him. <laughs> Welcome! Nice emote. I wonder... I wonder how you found me. I wonder where you came from. <laughs> Oh, here. See, I still have the reference sheet. Here. Oh gosh, no! Now I have to zoom back in! He can be his mid-tier? Oh, okay. I mean, I don't keep up on it. I thought I just thought that people didn't like him. So this was the reference I was given. So, I mean, mine looks a little bit different. Just because I, like, interpreted it in my own style. There's that. That. Sarah and Kira, you should both get two more dinos and survive against Zeronic as the clown. <laughs> Red corn, Aya, yes. You're a trapper main. Uh, I am. I am not a main of anything. <laughs> Wait, is Aya still here? I, uh... You never played? I... Kira, I have only played a Dead by Daylight once, so... That's fine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing either. I, uh... We're planning a collab! I'm back! You were here earlier. It's nipple. I bet we could get Red Claw to do it, right? Red Claw's a scary cat. Yes! Okay. I know this sounds kind of evil, but I love playing like scary games with people that aren't like with people that actually get scared still. Because if you play them with people who play like too many horror games or something, or it just doesn't phase them, it's kind of not fun. <laughs> when you want to get to be the killer, is CC? He has a really scary clown. Well, I don't... Okay, I don't want the, the killer to actually be good at the game, though. Because if the rest of us are all, like, new... And then the killer's really good, then that's not gonna be fun. <laughs> We're just gonna get steamrolled. <laughs> you gotta space it out so that the scares stay fresh. Yeah, I feel like, um... Especially towards the end of October... Because I was playing scary games the whole time. Wait, I just saved... I don't think I changed anything, but... No, we don't want safe. Okay. History. Revert. Okay. Close and do not... Save. Thank you. Trust me, if survivors are equal in skill to the killer, they will steamroll him. Yeah, but it has to be like a nice balance. Because... When I, when I did play DVD, it was a collab, and, uh, I played with Ember, and Spuff, and, and Rang Shada, and PM, the Hedgehog, and the only one who knew how to play was Ember, so every time Ember was killer, we kind of, we all just died. <laughs> That's why you barely play Phasmo. <gasps> I will play Phasmo with you too! <gasps> Wait, that sounds fun too! Phasma is another one that's only, like, fun with, with people. Okay, let me... I'm gonna turn this off for a second so I can successfully switch programs without showing things I don't want to. 
You can do that? Yes. I'm I am not very good at Phasmo, but I have played it quite a bit on stream now. <laughs> I like it a lot, but you gotta keep it so it doesn't get full too fast. Oh, Phasmo? Yeah. If you play any kind of horror too much, it won't be as scary anymore. But okay, the one game that I played in October that was like always scary like i never i never got used to it was at dead of night that indie uh full motion video one where we were being chased around the hotel by jimmy some i don't know what maybe it was just like preying on like my fear of being chased or something but Oh, we might lose some frames for a second. It should be fine. It's just me opening a live 2D. <laughs> uh, for some reason, that game... ...never stopped scaring... ...the heck out of me. I don't know. They just did a really good job. Or maybe it was just the right kind of game to scare me. I forgot about Jimmy. Yeah. Farting Jimmy was <laughs> That's a- No! Dang it. I play wait, wait, what did I play by myself? Wait, wait, what, what did I play by myself? Uh, at Dead of Night is a single player game, so there isn't really a choice. <laughs> Phasmo? I did! Yeah! It was terrifying! And the ad's gone now. And I think I forgot to put my Discord link back on the, the Moobot timer. I think it's still the collab one. Yeah, I played Phasmo solo a few times on stream. It's still it's still different from like playing it by yourself by yourself because if you have nobody to even like talk to, I don't know, it's not as much fun, I don't think. It's still scary, but it's not as much fun. I'm almost ready. Gotta import the new file. Hopefully everything will replace properly. Well, I didn't change that much stuff, but... Well, okay. I think it's okay. It might look weird for a second. So I did change some, like, keybinds and stuff around from last time we did this. So I figured out how to make it, like, comfy to do on my tablet, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah, very few ads due to your geolocation. Ah, oh, I didn't know that really had an effect. Wait, why do I have two folders up here with stuff? Wait, eyes? Wait, why did you give me an eye? Wait, no. I didn't do anything with my eyes. I don't need this. I don't need this. Okay, I just dumped these things on, on the top. I didn't replace that. That's fine. I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm gonna delete that one. Do we only have the, like, hair part? Dang it, now I want to play Phasmo or something. <laughs> it's kind of the worst when you're like in the middle of doing something else. You start talking about like something else entirely and then your, your entire mood changes. 
Wait, wait, wait. Do we... So, do we want... Do we want to do Phasmo or, or Dead by Daylight? I mean, we could do both, but I don't want to, like, ask too much of people. You know the exact feeling? Yeah, Damien. <laughs> Hi, Dino Hunter! Shiny, yes. Shiny bald head. Yep, we get to look at the bald head again. Let me just move this layer down to where we want. I can get rid of this extra folder that it made. I'm oh, gonna turn that off so we can see what we're doing. Oh, it did update the base. That was weird. Why did it like make a duplicate? It's fine. Hello, Dino. <laughs> Hi, Dino. It's Dino. You just got back. What are we asking? Oh. 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 Uh. We were talking about possibly setting up a Dino. Wait, frozen. <gasps> You can ask... You can ask Red. Does Red want to do maybe a Phasmo or, or a DBD collab with, with other dinos? Like like me and Kira and maybe Aya? I should probably actually ask him myself. <laughs> I just got excited. <laughs> oh, I should. I think I should ask. Are there more dino tubers? There are lots. There are so many. I find new dino tubers all the time, actually. Yes. Um. In chat right now. Well, or at least a few minutes ago. Uh, Kira P Raptor Girl is uh, an amazing raptor YouTuber. The first one you've met? Oh, really? I'm honored. There's so many dino tubers. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Like... When I was conceptualizing everything, but it's kind of... It's kind of really nice to have like a little... Like a little... VTuber family in a way. <laughs> it's like a tiny microcosm of VTubing and it makes you so pleased. I know. <laughs> Um, Aya was here earlier. Aya is also a raptor VTuber. Uh, I don't think I've seen any other dino VTubers in chat today, have I? We also... Spuff comes around quite a bit. Uh, Spuff is also a raptor. <laughs> yeah, they pop in from time to time. You want to get to know Spuff? <gasps> Spuff is adorable. I like Spuff. Just about every morning... I get a Discord message from Spuff. That's like a gif of, of coffee or tea or like a muffin or something. And like this really cute good morning message. And it's so adorable. So cute. Yes, it is. There was like a couple days this buff stopped doing it, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I was sad. But the the time difference is is really really awkward. So it's like if this buff is like five or six hours ahead of me, something like that. Raptors are very popular. <laughs> I have found less... A fewer... Fewer T-Rexes. <laughs> Obviously, Red Claw comes to mind. I'm not sure if I found another T-Rex. Can I do an auto mesh for this, please? Oh yeah, so I'm doing... I'm doing just like a straight, uh display capture now, so now you can see all these little pop-up windows <laughs> that you couldn't see before. Um, should I just 
Oh, oh my. Okay. Um, what does heavy look like? Well, this looks like a mess because of everything that's outside of the living mass. Hmm. That could work in our favor, though, because if we're manipulating stuff around and there's, like, extra, like, paint texture to work with, that might be okay, but... Really, if I was trying to optimize, I should I should take a lot of this extra stuff out of the art mesh. And then I want to put this... into the same, like, parent deformer as the back of the head. Here, and then we'll, we'll want another one for it, but I just want it to be, like, all together, you know? Oh, oh, oh. Are you remembering to stay hydrated, pterosaur? Oh, thank you. I will. I will. I will have some water. You only know uh, me, a red claw, and a 2B T Rex. There's also a Tyranno. He's a T Rex. Oh, I'm trying to think of who else. Tyranno, yes. Uh, he pops in every once in a while. Um... Who else is a T-Rex? What is Kenna? Kennasaur? Is Kenna a T-Rex? Or another kind of dino? I'm not actually sure. What will we spam her with? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I, oh yeah, no, I don't have a hydrate redeem. <laughs> Missed the jiggle. I mean, you know what? I will, I will, I will give you, I'll give you another free thigh jiggle because I'm so generous. <laughs> Here we go. Save me your points for the chew. Ah, <gasps> it's so precious. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's a furry, furry thigh jiggle. Wait, wait, this one's for you. Wait. Oh gosh, wait. <gasps> Hold on. Okay, I'll get the ornaments. Hold, oh, hold on. Mwah! What is this chew? <laughs> Mwah! Mwah! Dino kisses! That's the chew. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> T-Rex kisses, yes! Nobody's mentioned it, but I've been sitting under this mistletoe. It's up there. See, see it? See it? Right, right. Ah, ah, ow! Right there. <laughs> the best ready. <laughs> it was supposed to be like a Christmas thing because of the mistletoe, but maybe I will keep it because I think it's cute. <laughs> you grab the ornament. Thank you, Frozen, for the ornament. I'll probably. I did, uh, because I did this for Halloween. I'll probably keep all of this stuff till the end of the month. Oh no, not me. Until the end of the month. So like through New Year's? We can keep the chew. It's always, it was really weird in November. Switching models back. <laughs> I'm probably gonna feel the same thing when I switch again. <laughs> I can describe the Chu redeem as Chu get the kisses from the Yes. <laughs> Even until January 6th. Oh, that's the last day of the 12 days of Christmas. Is it really? 
Hmm. May maybe. I mean. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, for New Year's, I want to do... Uh, you'll, you'll have to let me know if you're interested. I want to do... Probably the Wednesday before. I don't know if I'll stream, like, on New Year's Eve or not. Prob I want to say no. Probably not. Oh, gosh. See, that's huge because the art mesh... Okay, but for New Year's... Uh, I was thinking of maybe re-watching my first stream and doing kind of like a reaction thing. I know it was... My first stream was at the beginning of September, so it hasn't been like terribly long. But I think it would be fun just because I do feel like I've improved quite a bit even in the few months that I have been streaming. Um, and then do like... Like New Year's resolutions. And maybe because it's a New Year's celebration, maybe maybe we'll do some some drinking games or something. It could be fun. Sounds like a cute and cozy time. Yeah. Am I gonna do heart stuff for February? I haven't really planned it out yet, but I should. <laughs> That's a good idea. Tipsy Terra games? It's not difficult. <laughs> I have no tolerance. <laughs> Wait, if Terra's under mistletoe, do we all get to kiss her? <gasps> Tyronic, did you miss it? We just had the the two redeem. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> A kiss under the mistletoe. Dino kisses. You're down for Tipsy Terra games? Yes! <laughs> I haven't planned it all out yet, but I think that would be fun. It'll probably be... Oh, I think that's a week from today, right? Yeah. Okay, I need to cut some of... Some of that out of... Some of this art mesh out, because that is... That is too much. Oh my... Goodness gracious! What is that? Okay. I... I make this brush a bigger. Okay. I keep trying to use like the keybinds for Photoshop because I use I use a lot of keybinds in Photoshop. It just makes everything go mu so much smoother, right? Freaking air. Hello. Oh. My god. Look. Look at how long it's taking to delete points. <gasps> Not again. Not again! <laughs> oh no! Okay. Here, smashing the door down with five bottles of rum and shot glasses. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I did exactly one shot on stream for Halloween. Because I had like my trick-or-treat wheel set up. And it was- actually it was rum. It was coconut rum. I never- Okay, I'm a lightweight, okay? I never drink- just drink shots. <laughs> that burned! I was so... <laughs> It sounds like Kira yesterday. <laughs> yeah, maybe we we won't talk about it yet. We got we gotta have some time in between, right? <laughs> we gotta do Captain Morgan's. Barely any burn. I think it was. <laughs> oh my god, Kira! It was. I'm pretty sure. I don't have any left because it was like almost gone by then, but like I'm, I'm like 99% sure it was like a Captain Morgan's coconut rum. <laughs> yes, it did! 
I'm sorry. I can't, I can't pretend to not be affected by this stuff. So you might as well just... <laughs> might as well just find out now. Captain Morgan is yummy. Yeah, it was good. It just burned. Because, I mean, I prefer to, like, mix it with something. Though, okay. I would rather take a shot of it than mix it with, like... Mix anything with soda water. I hate soda water. It's so gross. <laughs> Raptors can drink the water. <laughs> Don't worry, Terry. Not everyone can be an alcoholic raptor. Yeah, that that's uh, I'm not a raptor, so <laughs> you drink soda water every day, really? I've never liked sparkling water either. It's it must just be some kind of preference for like I just don't like. Carbonated water, maybe? I don't know. I send you your extra puppy. <laughs> Love soda? No, it's no, it's not. It's not. You're obsessed with carbonation? Well, that makes sense then. <laughs> like the two things. I don't- okay, I don't dislike carbonation, it just depends, like, on what it is, right? Like, soda is fine. Like, normal soda. <laughs> Not soda water. <laughs> but... Yeah, so I don't like sparkling water. Which is basically just carbonated water. And I- I don't like... Drinks where, like, the flavor is too watered down. Like, where, you, where it literally just tastes like someone took something that was good and then poured water in it to water it down. I don't like stuff like that either. So maybe, maybe those two things kind of culminate into me not liking soda water. <laughs> be faster? I feel like at this rate it would be faster if I drew this mesh from scratch instead of trying to delete all these points. Just cancel. Release me from, the, from this prison. Okay, and then undo that mesh. This is gonna be faster. I bet. Because that was painful. Kinda hard to tell where the where it ends though, so maybe okay. we'll we will draw like a big line around it. This line mesh tool is actually really useful. Like it's not perfect. actually really nice. There's like all these other settings. You can like increase like the width and the density and stuff. I think my biggest issue with it... Oh no, what is that? What is that weird hard edge? I bet it's hidden behind the cat ear or something. It might be fine. My biggest criticism of it, of this tool, is that they don't, like, automatically connect with other parts of the mesh. Like, if you look, it just kind of, like, deletes parts of the mesh that are too close to it, which is bizarre. Then we gotta go in and manually fix it! What 
wasn't that big of a deal. It's just be nice if it, you know, did it itself. Okay, it's got the hurdy bubbles without the berries. Oh, club soda. You just got old and man taste to give you your club soda and crackling oat bran. <laughs> okay, you can have it. <laughs> you want soda now? It reinvigorates you. I wish I could give you some. Actually, I th I think I have orange soda right now, like a little bit. I don't get soda a lot. But I have... I have like a little bit of orange soda left, but I haven't been like drinking it like normal because... I also... <laughs> I also have vanilla ice cream. And orange cream is so good! Do I like fruit flavored soda? Yeah. Yeah, I like soda. I just don't like watered down soda. <laughs> you actually have loved crackling oat bran ever since you were a little kid and everyone thought it was super weird because of it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, honestly, Damien. I'm just teasing. <laughs> the float, yes! For anybody who doesn't know, like one of my, I do have a really big sweet tooth, but one of my biggest like weaknesses as far as desserts go is ice cream. So yes, I am totally the person who will like, be like, wait, I have, I have root beer, I, I have orange soda. I'm not just gonna drink it. I'm gonna add ice cream. You love pineapple soda. <gasps> Wait, I don't think I've had pineapple soda. That sounds really good, actually. You have strawberry ice cream in the fridge. Ooh. Maybe we'll take a break and have an ice cream. <laughs> we'll have an ice cream social. <laughs> I'll be right back. You're running out to grab some stuff. <gasps> have, have a good food stuff trip. <laughs> Get get many foodstuffs. Get good foodstuffs. Bring back ice cream, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had uh mochi ice cream? I feel like it's kind of like a it's like one of those weird western things, I think. I mean I could be wrong, maybe it's not. It's really good. Yes, chewing delicious. Yes. My favorite is strawberry. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I was doing that to get rid of extra stuff. You know, I'm not actually this scatterbrained. I'm kind of scatterbrained, but I'm not this scatterbrained. It's just... <laughs> I start just reading chat and I'm just not paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> Green tea. <gasps> Matcha mochi. I had like regular like red bean mochi recently, and I, I want more. I need to get more. I mean, I think that's fine. Emotes. I really need to get a proper stand for my tablet so I don't have to look down and have terrible shrimp pose. And I'd be able to see chat better too. 
cream based ice cream with strawberries sauce mixed in. Ooh, and frozen with small delicious chunks of strawberries. Chronic! <gasps> that sounds really good. Strawberry daifuku. Wait, what, what is daifuku? That sounds familiar. Oh, a mochi with red bean paste and strawberry in it. Oh, you already answered before I asked. <laughs> That does sound really good. You got a throne? Wait, me? I do. Um, wait, do I? Did I make it? I don't think I made a command for it. But I'm gonna try it. I don't think I did. No. <laughs> it's in my my about section. I could add a tablet holder to it. I need to find one. The fit. Because, like, there's specific ones made for this kind of tablet, but, like, the larger versions of it. So I don't think this one would actually fit. And then, obviously, I don't... I don't know. I'm sure there, there are obviously, like, off-brand ones that are fine, but it just makes me, like, a tiny bit nervous because... I don't want my tablet to, you know, fall or get damaged or anything, because that would... I would cry. <laughs> I would actually cry because I probably wouldn't be able to to replace it for a while <laughs> if that happened. Wait, wait, wait. It is the brand is one with a very long tradition of excellent ice cream, so it's awesome. Sorry, gushing over ice cream is something. We yes, wait, what's the brand? If you don't mind me asking, if it's like a local one and you don't want to say, that's fine. But I'm curious. Tell us the brand. <laughs> My brand of ice cream. Have you ever noticed how, for, I guess for those of you, I don't know, maybe in, maybe in like other parts of the world too, but in, in the U.S. of A, how different like brands and even like fast food chains and things will have different names, but they're the same thing. I know they do it for like weird marketing reasons normally, but it's wait, why is that still giant? Ta -da! <gasps> oh no, no, redo that. Redo. Redo. <laughs> I don't wanna do that again. Ironically, so after after my stream yesterday, I started like working on this <laughs> and like lurking for the rest of the for the rest of the charity stream. I actually got more done then. <laughs> I promise. Anyway, like McNugget, Whopper, and Big Mac? No, like, um... I'm trying to think of a restaurant chain. There's... Ah, uh, like Carl's Jr. and Hardee's? It is Hardee's, right? So those are the same thing, but they're different names. Um... But I thought of it specifically because of ice cream. Because there's one in particular that's... Uh, it has two different names. It's either dryers or uh, like 80s but that's the same thing too it is local is in from your country it's called premier is which means premier ice cream ah the company started making ice cream in 1933 Ooh, that sounds really good though like checkers and rallies yeah where it's like the same exact thing <laughs> Wait, are, wait, are... Whopper and Big Mac. Whopper is a different... Isn't that Burger... Is that Burger King? I don't know. I feel like if I get this wrong, I'm gonna make people angry. 
Craig the King. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is it? Hmm. I'm not sure if we need that many divisions. I'll go look at it now. Hopper is Burger King, apparently. Your loyalties are to the Mickey. I don't really eat it either. Don't hurt me, okay? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna be down here. I got the nuggy. <gasps> Ooh, a nuggy tier list. That'd be fun. Actually, for a little while, McDonald's had like a... Like a better chicken nugget or something. I think it was McDonald's. It was like... Ac <laughs> it was like actually chicken. <laughs> Some kind of like honey honey glaze on it or something, but they don't they don't have them anymore. I don't think they had them for like a little while. I don't know why they stopped. Maybe it wasn't that popular. They were more expensive than like the regular ones. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what I have so far for the head now, even though. There's definitely still things that I need to tweak and stuff, so keep that in mind. And it's obviously it's not finished. But so far, I have I have all these angles for the head going on. And we're not gonna worry about hiding the bald part of the head until until we're done. So I've got this. I think that the eyebrows I did on stream, and you, you can only really see the one right now. Got the different forms going. We've got, we've got our, our nice little bling. Which I did change a little bit because I, I fixed the eyelashes. Honestly, I kind of had to look. <laughs> In mine a little bit to remember how I did the eyelashes. Cyclops girl. Yes! So... <laughs> so what we're gonna do when we're done... Rigging everything is we're just gonna reflect... Uh, the left eye. Because they are... They are symmetrical. And you can reflect symmetrical things. So that way you don't... Have to, you know, do the same thing twice. It's... You know, what is that saying? Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> it's so awesome seeing people with amazing talent in making and rigging models. <gasps> Thank you! I still have a lot to learn. This is only my second model, technically. I did animate some, like, art pieces in Life 2D, but that's different. <laughs> so we have all of this. Head angles are hard. I, I, um, so, like, these angles I like the hardest. Oh, yeah, and then I still need to, like, make the bangs go behind the face when she turns, because they're not supposed to be on top of the face like that. That's gonna take some finagling. But I also... Decided to have <gasps> the chin moves. We were working on the mouth forms last time I rigged on stream, I think. I might need to adjust this one a little bit, but it's supposed to be like the super happy one. But I think I need to adjust the corners on that a little bit. I made the chin move. I'm so proud. <laughs> like looking over there. Oh my god! 
Hi. <laughs> you can never afford a pro model. You'd want someone as good as me working on it. Oh, ironic. That's really sweet. Thank you. You're drawing better than many of us even want to be humble bragging. Wait. Humble brag. Wait. Did I humble brag? I wasn't trying to. <laughs> Here I I claim I claim raptor mode I mean <clears throat> if you want intentional brag no I was being serious there <laughs> I was being serious. This is only my second one, so like I still have lots to learn. Like I actually I still need to figure out how how exactly to do like the cheek puff and, and all of that because I don't have the um like the iPhone specific parameters in my own model because I didn't start with an iPhone. Actually I started with a, a webcam. Uh, what was it's like a log Logitech something? You don't have an iPhone? That's fine. You don't need an iPhone. <laughs> I kind of want to do a comparison between my model, like with a webcam tracking versus iPhone, because it does it does look quite a bit different. <laughs> Especially just like the way it moves. Okay. So. Did I start? Okay, okay, so I started moving this a little bit. reflected the motion. That doesn't really look right on that side. Or is it because of the ear? <gasps> you know what? I need to turn off the ears so that it doesn't throw me off. Yeah. You do like that eye tracking a lot? It's very expressive. I think Basically, with an iPhone, it just makes everything a bit more, like, reactive. If that makes sense. So, like... Most of what's in the eyes and everything would be the same, still. It just, it kind of, like... Depending on your settings, too. It, it's just more, like, sensitive to... I don't know, like, where, where you're looking and stuff, like... I kind of had some issues with the webcam, like where if I turned my head, it wouldn't actually move my pupils around, which was kind of weird. <laughs> Is your laptop's built-in webcam? Oh, that's right. You said you needed uh, a webcam, right, Kira? I'll have to figure out what kind... The one that I bought for tracking. I know you don't want it for tracking right now, or necessarily, but... Um, I think it's supposed to be, like, a pretty good one for streaming, though. Or, like, at least a, a decent one. You're... wait. Mine probably also a lack of settings, but you should probably remove some of your beard to get better tracking. <laughs> I have this weird thing that happens sometimes. It happened more with the webcam. But... Okay, let me... let me dig again. But, like, my... my mouth sometimes... It thinks that my mouth is like hanging open a little bit, even when it's not. See, like that. See how it was like open a tiny bit? And I almost have to like squeeze my lips together for it to realize that I closed my mouth all the way. And I kind of... I don't know if it's my lighting or not. Actually, let me turn this light on and see if that makes sense. That might... that might help? A little bit? 
And it does that sometimes, and I wonder if if it's like confusing <laughs> the color of my like lips as thinking that that's my mouth being open. Because I am so stinking pale. <laughs> Growing a mustache, so you got some hairs in front of your mouth. Lighting, lighting does matter as well. You gotta make sure you you are lit up properly, but not like washed out. Wait, that's okay. Tara's beard and mustache don't seem to bother the camera track. Can you time out mod? Is it possible? Are they immune? <laughs> Thank you, Zen Fable. Remember no Novaj? Did a lesson on settings and mouths that should be not set to default because that will leave the mouse slightly open with many models. Really? Hey, let me... I will... I'm gonna make a note. If you time out a mod, they'll lose mod status. Oh. I wasn't actually gonna do it. <laughs> it was a joke. Maybe for the meme, but... <laughs> I say I'm close. <gasps> Hi, Amber! Hello! How was your Monday? Also... Happy birthday! <gasps> Even though you're like ahead of me, so maybe it's not your birthday anymore. I don't know, but happy birthday! <laughs> it was amazing, that's good! You can see if you can find the VOD if you want. Yeah, Saronic. Uh, if you do find it... um, If you wouldn't mind posting it in Discord, though. <laughs> so I can find it later. Best one ever, that's... That's awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good birthday. Very good. Okay. Oh my gosh, this bald head is throwing off my brain. Also, art. They can't turn off the head, but like that bald. I guess this should follow... We put it... I like... Oh gosh, that's kind of like egg-shaped now. I did something... Last night before I closed this. You know what else makes it look kind of weird? Right now? Are those bangs. They can't see the cheek. Can I turn off all the bangs? Can you just see the bald head? No, I don't think I should turn off all of them. Right there. It kind of looks, makes it look egg, egg headed though. We don't, we don't want that. What did I do yesterday? Wait, wait. Hello, Mary and the Maid. Welcome! <laughs> and happy birthday to Amber! Besides the fact it's a balding cyclops, what else is weird? What? You are on a roll! on a roll today. <laughs> like the... Hmm.
no. Okay, always remember to add key forms before you change it. <laughs> wait, wait. You see why our chat members get along? Uh, play all consoles was... I, I recognized them... I saw them in, in chat yesterday. Maybe... Did you the first... Oh, that's what I did yesterday. Did it get wide? I mean, it wouldn't technically get wider. That's gonna look weird. Yeah, it wouldn't get wider. But we just want it to like lean. I guess that's probably the most natural look, actually. Just have it kind of lean. Oh gosh, no, no lag. Then. Do, like a simple lean. She doesn't have the VOD available anymore. That's okay, Zeronic. I appreciate the the suggestion though. I'll try and I'll try and maybe look up something about that. Is there another <laughs> There another bully. <laughs> I think Kira called you a bully, gather. <laughs> yes, but since you have refugee status here, you try to be nice. <gasps> I appreciate it. <laughs> Refugee status, that's great. <laughs> she did a lot about mouths and opening speed and how settings should be set depending on use. That'd be really useful, actually. I'll try and just Google it or something. Because, like, even, even, like, my own, not my own mouth, like, there, there are parts of it, like, I definitely, like... I wanna... I wanna just redo. <laughs> I told myself that I don't get to until I'm done with this. Also needs to I think shrink down. So. Like we're looking up. <gasps> Kira. Thank you so much for the bits! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I really do. It means a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Auto tune! Like, okay, okay, that wasn't auto tune. Pretend! Pretend. Auto tune. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> oh, the Evo, it's thank you. You're so cute. You're a bit Tara. Tara, now I need a rabies shot. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Nuggets! Oh yeah, so... My, my animated emotes are not showing up yet. Correct? Sadly, unfortunately, I think. I really wanted them to be uh, here for the stream. I'm not sure exactly when they like gave me the the slots. It was just I happened to check yesterday. Oh, 
They're all under ending approval. Why? I have animated. Yes. Well, most of them are like a placeholder or whatever for now. Except like one of them. <laughs> but still. Yeah, for for forever. It just kept saying like, "Hey, your animated emotes are coming soon." I was like, "Awesome." But then they never showed up. <laughs> yeah. So it had to have been really recently. So from this perspective, the top of the head would be like bigger. I don't want to squeeze like the braid down there because it needs to connect to the rest of the braid. So we'll see how that will work. Does that look like you're looking down? I think, I think it does. Do wait. Do what? <laughs> what did I say? I should have eaten more than half a bagel. Between you and me, including that half a bagel that I ate at the beginning, I have eaten today. I have eaten one entire bagel. And and that's that's it. What is ironic? Oh yeah, yeah yeah. You should. Oh yes, finish doing your follower animations. A lot of my like stream like assets for that, I kind of consider placeholder. Like the the follower animation and stuff. I don't have any, um, what are they called? The, like, transit, the stingers? I don't have that yet. I don't have background art yet. Oh, there's so much. Do you like eating ASMR? Who's ironic or me? <laughs> me, uh, I don't particularly like the sound of people eating, no. <laughs> you have an idea how they work? But you want them? Um, do you... Do you use... OBS? I mean, I think it's similar... In... In other... In other ones, too, but... Yeah, there's... Like a... Like a window... Maybe if you go to view, a window, or... Or whatever... <laughs> there's a tab for scene transitions... So you can just like select a stinger to use and then from your scenes you can also like individually tell it what stingers to to use or if you want it to like ignore the stingers and, and all of that goodness so I'll move this down Is that too much Hmm. Should we bring the other side up? No, that's gonna make the head look too big. Maybe like a little bit of both. Try to keep it even. One thing I've been doing differently with this model is I have I have for the most part not been using the synthesized corners at all. Wait, I I didn't grab the right tool. Hold on. Synthesized corners, like, it can be very helpful, but you always have to go back and 
fix them anyway. Because the way that it auto calculates them is awful. Whereas right now, because I didn't use synthesized corners, it's basically just copying what, like, the left and right, basically what the X parameter was, like the keyform. Which in my opinion, I think it's working better. <laughs> I spent so much time on my own model, like, trying to go back and, like, finesse over it and, and fix it. Message, error, inform dialog box. What did I, what did I try to do? Do. We're gonna take a picture of this. Save it. Now we have a snapshot image. And then. Oh, the menu. Menu, why? Okay, here we go. For some reason, this menu pops up on my other monitor, and I don't know why. <laughs> now we reflect it. What did it reflect? It didn't reflect anything. Just kidding. Okay. We take our snapshot and we reflect it. Please. Thank you. Oh, Aya is back. Hello. Welcome. And as started in this. Oh no, Frozen. I'm sorry. One of these days you'll look up how to improve your stream quality, but not today. There are, there is, there are so many little things that impact stream quality. <laughs> um, I would say, if you're not sure where to start, I would pull up, like, the stats window. Um, I know OBS has it, and Streamlabs also has one, I believe. Um, and then when you do stream... So you do have to stream to like troubleshoot it, but you can see, like depending on on what areas are like lagging or skipping frames, and you can kind of figure out what you need to do, what you need to work on and optimize. Not today's rest and do nothing. So sounds nice. <laughs> Kira <-ra> <laughs> Ay 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 ay. Oh yes. Aya, ah, yeah. do you like Dead by Daylight? You've been eyeing DBD, but you don't have it. You've been considering trying it. Kira. <laughs> you woke up from a night shift and now you're awake. Yeah! Good morning, Aya. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yes, we... <laughs> we, we came up with an idea for a collab. And now we're planning this collab. <laughs> in the stream. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just funny. It's adorable and I love it, but it, this is new territory for me. <laughs> Planning the collab in the stream. You watch people play it and it looks so fun. Yes! Yes, yes. Dino Survival is going to be a thing. Yes! <laughs> we still need to ask Red Claw. Uh, Frozen offered, but I think it would be better to ask directly. <laughs> we'll make a group chat. Yeah. And I don't mind. I don't mind asking a uh, red claw as well. But I won't. I'm not gonna ask in the middle of my stream. <laughs> yes. I don't know when, but... Okay, yes, yeah, so... Now I, I'm trying to remember what I was doing. <laughs> so 
So... Basically... What I did was I made like a ghost image... Of the model facing the other direction... And like flipped it... So that I could try and... Get this to look like line up... As best I can... This is very useful. Because even when you reflect, like, uh, keyframes, they don't always, uh, look the same. Just because of, like, art meshes and things. Got the details later, but you know we're down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ultimate, welcome. Welcome, welcome. These emotes are so cute. Here they are. They are uh, Hori Seiza. Hori Seiza's emotes. Here's another friend of mine. She is an astronaut. She has cute green hair and green hair buns like me. <laughs> you return with <gasps> with the burgi. <gasps> Wait, but where's our ice cream? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Guess guess what? Guess what? Ultimate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where? Hold on, where? There you go. I do have the power of Hori emotes. <laughs> yes, Bergy. So the I found this out yesterday that that glowing effect is one of the like a built-in Twitch animation things. Like you can upload emotes and it'll have some like basic animations that you can do. And one of them is you can add that like really cool rave effect. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. I like that one. Wait, who's that? Lilith? Cute! Wait, I don't have... Oh, that's a cat paw. Okay. Uh, hmm. I was, I was questioning that for a second. Um... Wait, what's the name? Of... Of... Of what? Of what? There's... Whose name? If you want to know who... Owns like the emotes. If you hover over them, it'll give you their like uh, emote prefix. <gasps> oh, I love those, Kira. Dino sa. <laughs> Dinosaur love. I'm assuming those are so cute. Oh my god! In the Moogle, the animation thingy. Uh, the name of the animation thingy... Oh! For the emotes, there... Twitch has this built-in. Uh, you can see it when you have animated emote slots. Um... You know how they have, like, placeholder emotes and stuff? They basically have this little thing where you can upload, like... A static, not animated emote, and you can add, like, real basic animations and stuff to it, but it, it's in Twitch. <laughs> I'm just looking at all these emotes, oh my god. Okay, yeah, well, you know you know what? You know what I can do? And nobody else can do. Huh? I can I can do this. I can do this. You just wait. You just wait. Hold on. You just wait. Just wait. I can do You see it now, never tried it. Yeah! So you can do basic little animations like that, like add that cool, like, rainbow effect. Are they tier 3 emotes? They are my tier 2 and tier 3 emote. <laughs> I only have one slot because, um, yeah. I don't, I don't need to explain why. I only have one slot, but yes. <laughs> you have one thing to say to that? What? Is that fart? Are you farting? Are you farting? You know, do I need to, do I need to revoke? 
your your status as 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 what what word, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh my god! I hate when my brain forgets words. Oh well, you know what? Maybe you need to be timed out. Huh? Refugee, yes. If you're gonna look, if you're gonna put your butt in my face and fart on me, you're gonna get timed out. Is safe house? <laughs> the words, what do they mean? Hi, Epsidian. <laughs> He's farting into my general direction. Next, he'll say your father smells of elder bears. That's cute. <laughs> okay, so did I do both of these? Oh, I didn't even look to see if they... Oh no, I didn't do that one. Okay, so now we gotta do the same thing where we save the snapshot. We take the snapshot, save the snapshot. Then we reflect the snapshot. So. And then. We need to adjust the eyes a little bit. Check in. I don't see anything. Perspective. I need to figure out this braid. Mincy has a giant braid that goes straight down her back, which is why you haven't seen it because it's kind of just like hidden. You'll see it when she moves, I think. I need to figure that out. <laughs> Turn. Huh? Oh. No, yeah, no ice cream for you, Zeron. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he just starts a timer. Oh my goodness. Hey Tara, I know you've been showing us how you rig, but how easy would you say it is to rig? Not. On a level of... Easy... To difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> it's definitely one of those things you have to have... Like a good eye for perspective. And things. Uh, the program is pretty complicated, especially if you're learning it for the first time, I would say. Because, like, I've used I've used some other animation software before, and the workflow in Live 2D is very different from a traditional animation software where you, like, would animate something keyframe by keyframe. And here, you're setting up all these different parameters, and then you can take it into, like, a timeline and then you tell it what para like what parameter to be on, and then you make the keyframe. <laughs> and if you cut corners, like not not suggesting that you would, but like the the reason that the really high end ones look so dang good is honestly, you know, knowledge and skill and and practice in it and everything. You hear hand tracking is difficult. Oh, for sure. I don't even know how that works, actually. Can I do that with... <gasps> Buff! <laughs> Buff, hi! <gasps> Thank you for the resub, the four-month resub! Thank you so much! <laughs> hey, look at that, eh? It has been four months. You have... I love that you have a first badge. It makes me happy. <laughs> Thank you, Spock! Awesome! It's Buff! Yes! <laughs> we almost got all the raptors now. Are we missing any raptors? We have Aya, we have Kira, we have Spuff. 
I'm making looks amazing though. Thank you. I don't mean to discourage anyone from trying to learn to rig. Just understand it's not going to be easy. <laughs> and probably the first time you do something, you're, you're probably going to do it like at least half a dozen more times before you're even remotely satisfied with it. <laughs> Collect all the raptors like infinity stones. We can put them in little jars like Lake does. <laughs> I think, uh, me and Aya are in little jars already. <laughs> you wouldn't call it discouraging as temp tempering your expectations. Yes, just... Like, I've seen people... Um... I guess not anyone that I really know that well, but I've seen, like, on Twitter where people will be like, Okay, I just paid for, for, the, for all the art. Um, which is fine, of course. And then they've never touched Live 2D, they didn't draw it, so they don't understand how all the pieces fit together, either. And then they're like, I'm going to do the live 2D art. And if you can do it, that's awesome. But then I've seen like the next day, they're like, does anyone know of any good live 2D rankers? It's like... <laughs> you have to be up for the challenge. <laughs> you have to do a lot of research to figure it out. <laughs> and here's another thing, like a lot of the help sections for this program are in Japanese. So either you have to look somewhere else, play with it till you figure it out, um, or try and do like a, a Google trans translate of the webpage, and then that's always fun to decipher. <laughs> yes, let's go, all the raptors! You're green with a red nose. Red, I read that as red nose. <laughs> You're all the red nose raptor. Green with a red rose, but you want pink and purple feathers. Ooh. Wait, Aya says, I'm blue, Kira is green, Spuff is orange. Well, Spuff also has like a like blue turquoisey hair as well. Kira, you should have known that you would have made the feathers those colors. You're gonna try and complete level one of the Switch game called Lead and then do pixel art, so you're gonna be lurking. No worries, Spuff. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. <laughs> Red nose raptor. You think in general people don't know what goes into a lot of the behind the scenes stuff for VTubing? Yeah. It is, um, it's not easy. You hadn't thought about it until you did your art, which you love. Ah, oh, it's ironic. I need to look at that then. When the streamer knows your game. The streamer. <laughs> I was Spuff, I was telling everybody earlier how you sent me cute little gifts of like coffee and stuff. <laughs> it is so cute. Aww, Spuff. 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 That's so stinging sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Spuff. That's so sweet. I don't even know what to say. You just want me... No, I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's really cute. Getting like... <gasps> Here's a muffin. <laughs> yes. Mwah. There you go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <gasps> wait, I could do this too. I could do this too. Hold on. Emote battle. <laughs> Sweet enough to give you the dark piece. <laughs> Maybe if they were real muffins. I have to clear one. Oh no. <laughs> this means what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait. This one's really cute, too. Is there a limit? <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. It's 
staring into your soul. Wait. Pink? <laughs> I think. Let me let me see. Where is okay. I don't I don't have I don't use this anymore, but but wait. I think if I if I <gasps> Oh my god, I can lean in! <laughs> wow. I never use the... What are they even called? The movement... This? The movement config? I used to... Until I switched to iPhone. <laughs> I never use like the Z. The like one... I think it's cool to like... Lean all the way back! And like lean all the way in! Like it's fun. What? But I don't... I don't like what it does when, um... Like... Like, see how it like... It like makes your your whole model slide around... So like... <laughs> That's why I like leaving it off. Because then I'm like actually like standing in place. And I just... I think it looks better. <laughs> Wait, wait, everything I do is cool. What? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, thank you, but... <laughs> also, you win. You win the emo battle. <laughs> Aww, thank you! <laughs> I jiggle pillows, yeah. <laughs> okay, I've already done, like... A couple of I jiggles for free today, though. <laughs> I was gonna do it again, but I've already done a couple. <laughs> What's have you been doing? This. I've done like nothing today. <laughs> oh no. I think that's most. Well, oh, I haven't done. I know it looks kind of. Oh, you know what? Okay, here's another thing. Okay. This all the way at the bottom? Oh, window. Hi, window. Okay, this. Extended interpolation. For these head angles and stuff? You want to set... You want to change it from linear to ellipse. And if you look, it created all these little, like, blue dots. But it basically makes everything move in like a more rounded motion, so it looks more natural. Also, I think the, the bangs up here look off too. Kind of. Well, I feel like that looks fine. That it looks fine when you go in like that motion, but they like kind of get fatter. I don't know. I think I need to fix that. Let me find the bangs. The bangs, my bangs. Okay, so we have our center bang. And I want... I really like this perspective tool. I didn't... I don't even know if this was in Live 2D when I did my model. It's so very nice. You, you would want it to get fatter when you look down, but when you look up, you would want... Like, the bottom part to look a bit wider. I want too much. That's snapping weird for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Like, that's... Okay, now there's, like, nothing. Look, just a tiny bit, please. Small bit.
Since you finally figured out the issue with the animation? Wait. Wait, what? This? <laughs> the fatter the term is thick. <laughs> Make the bangs thick. <laughs> nice and thick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yours? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got you, sir. <laughs> Yeah, so I did the glasses too. I need to fix these bangs and stuff, I think. I think we're almost ready to do that, but I don't know if I'll do that on stream because it's very tedious. <laughs> you cleared a level go. Good job, Spock! Pedal and impact mass. Everyone needs some. Also, some stored ice cream for winter. I always have ice cream. <laughs> Almost. You're so awful at games? No. Well, honestly, it doesn't even... Skill level doesn't even matter most of the time. You wanna eat ice cream too? I know! <gasps> Everyone keeps talking about ice cream! <laughs> You really am? It's not even a joke? I want to say no, but also it doesn't matter. <laughs> Games are for fun. For 99% of people. Unless you're like... A, a pro gamer athlete. It doesn't matter. <laughs> And even for people who are, like, competitive, they're the type that, you know... If they care about being, like, good at the game, then... I mean, they're gonna figure it out for themselves. But yeah, generally, it doesn't matter. Another thing I have not decided on yet... Is... So there's an X, Y, and a Z angle for the head, and also separately for the body. Now, typically, the Z angle is supposed to be like the rotation, so like the head tilt, basically. But I also I saw somebody's rig where they used the Z to actually like lean forward and back. So I'm trying to think in my head if I if okay. So for the for the head, we use the Z angle for, for rotation, for head tilt. For the body Z angle, we try the lean. That's, I, that's what I think I'm gonna do. You're attempting level 2 because you're curious, it's just everything tried to kill you. <laughs> I don't even know what game that is. I know you said what it was earlier, but it didn't sound familiar to me. <laughs> So we have we have this lovely head rotation. Already? So I have I have what is that? There's like a side no. There's like a bang on the side that's not connected. You can make it look <gasps> like the exorcist. <laughs> oh no, stop! <laughs> I literally just read this is so freaking pretty while I'm doing this. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and then I broke it. <laughs> RT. <laughs> Hello, Ray. I'm pretty broken. A broken neck. <laughs> the thing that ghost you see in horror games where they're just like, Hello. <laughs> Build it in as a secret animation? No, I'm not going to do that to Mincy. 
Hey, Potassium! How's it going? I'm good. I'm not getting a lot of work done, but I'm enjoying hanging out, so... <laughs> no! No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do it. Plus, the other reason why that would be even worse is for... this reason. Look at this braid. So it's not connected right now, but like this piece for the back of the head is gonna be connected to a braid. So if you spin it all the way around, it's gonna like stretch that art mesh all over the place. It won't even be like funny bad, it'll just be bad. <laughs> At least Monks has a lot of hair, yes. Uh, she has this big braid and the tail as well. You want your avatar to have a cursed spin animation? <laughs> I think hiding fun fun things in there are cool. But I would not do it on this because of the braid specifically. Because that wouldn't even it wouldn't even be funny. <laughs> I don't think. Because when you glue different things together, it literally just like stretches the art. And is bad. <laughs> up these snapshots and I want to put I need to essentially make sure that the parent deformer for everything for the head is that rotation deformer or else it's not gonna work Really, I have like a herent, a herent, a head to parent former already. So if I just drop it in there, what else do I need to add? That's the, the hair back. Okay, so there's like a bang. It's not in there. Okay, side bangs. Well, it's the right one. You deformer. Go be in your place. Be where you belong. Oh god, no. Don't minimize. Don't minimize. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So then what I like to do when I'm like putting a bunch of stuff in like a big parent deformer is I will actually take it and like move it to make sure that it's all together. And now because the rotation is the parent of 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 big this. Wait, did I just undo it? It should all just rotate. Yeah. Now obviously this still has some some pretty blatant issues, like, for instance... When you rotate it, we don't want the back of the head to really rotate quite like that. And all of the hair and everything isn't rotating, and it should. So we'll get to all the individual pieces. We start with the big with the big rotation. Oh wait, wait. Spop said, oh Oh my god, I just realized the plot of this dumbass game. A hero goes to defeat the other heroes and become the best hero. <laughs> it's not enough to be the hero, you have to be the only hero. <laughs> it does sound um Hmm. You're playing the villain, right? <laughs> exactly! Ultimate, thank you for the ornament redeem! I will add one! Yeah, it's quite the plot, isn't it? <laughs> it's not, let's go defeat evil, it's let's go defeat 
all the other people so that I can say I'm the best. <laughs> So welcome, Beady. When you have no hair, hair parents, what? Hello, <laughs> ultimate terror. Ayo, emperor. Yes, ayo. <laughs> okay, Rang, it's not missing an eye. Technically. Re reset. Re oh, no. Undo. So there is another eyeball here. But this this other right eye, we're not actually going to rig. Because what we're going to do is when we're done rigging the left eye, is we're just going to mirror the left eye. It's a really uh, nice function that Live2D has. So if you have anything that's perfectly symmetrical, you only have to rig it once, and then you can just flip it. And it doesn't have to be entire objects either. Like for instance, um, these two bangs on the side, they have symmetrical shapes, but the shading and, and the way that I like painted them in is not symmetrical. So they're not 100% symmetrical. So in that case, you can actually take the deformer only and flip that and then put the other art mesh inside the deformer. So you can, you can also use that method to to only have to like rig symmetrical things once. It, is it mirrored? Essentially, we're gonna we're just gonna be like copy pasting the eyeball and flipping it. <laughs> yeah. So that that kind of thing only works for stuff that's symmetrical. Um, like for for my own hair, I use that method for some pieces. Because none of my... Absolutely none of my hair is 100% symmetrical, if you look. Like, even if the shapes are similar, they're not, like, identical. So, uh, I think some of them I rigged separately. I think I had to do the... Maybe the, the bouncy curls separately? I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> but I was also able to just flip the deformer and, like, place the other art mesh into it. For the pieces that weren't symmetrical. Yeah. <laughs> you wish you were paying more attention. You want to do this yourself at some point? <gasps> that would be cool. I mean, I'm trying to just do my best to like explain things as I go. It's not really a, like a full, complete list. <laughs> So, the first thing that I need to do is decide, like, how much of an angle, how much of a head tilt we want. So, like, do we want, do we want a lot of head tilt? Or, like, a little head tilt? Or, like, all, no. <laughs> I do want it to look natural. But I also want it to have, like, a good range of motion. A lot of times, like, I start, like, moving my own like head and stuff in ways to see like okay well how how far do you actually naturally tilt your head and then you can also type in specific angles as well so let's just say like that's that's a 15 degree angle and the other side would be a negative 15 I also have this option for freeze angle. But I've never tried it. I'm not sure if that's to like stop something from rotating too far, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so now we have we have a rotation on the head. And for like these shadow pieces and if you ever like forget to include something it you can literally just drag and drop like deformers into other ones you can go back and fix it and add things pretty easily like say if we forgot 
to include one of the bangs in this. We can just drag it and drop it like within within the rotation deformer and it'll pick it up. That's nice too. And coding overload it. Consider turning down video settings. I'm just saving my work. But thank you, OBS. <laughs> I think it's okay. So... Now... Now... And reset default. Sometimes there's like this weird visual bug where it resets but it's still showing the deformer in like the wrong position. I don't remember that happening before. Like in older versions. I select something else. Okay. So anyway, what we want to do is start adding some rotation deformers. As uh, parents to the X, Y, D formers that we have already set up. You can name them whatever you want, but I would always encourage you to actually name everything. It takes a tiny bit longer, like, in your workflow, but that way, you can find stuff, because you definitely have to go back and forth between parts and layers and things like that a lot. So now, if I hold control, I can move like the origin of the rotation. So we would have to kind of guess, like from what point the bangs would rotate, which would probably be from like up here. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna sway it a little bit just to test it out. I think that looks good. Not, not everything is going to look good if you angle it as far as you angle the head. Like if I angle this all the way to 15. Like that looks way too far to me, right? We're probably going to do something a little bit less. Maybe... Five or ten degrees? Basically, you're just trying to like mimic gravity and how it how it would hang if you were sitting still at, with your head at an angle. Probably gonna want to do the like opposite. No. See, that doesn't really look like enough. So, like, if we were going strictly by gravity, it would be, like, all the way down here. But then that moves so fast because it's such a harsher angle than this. Hmm... A negative five. Okay, fifteen's not bad. Yeah, you also you also need a lot of patience to rig as well. I mean, the, the more you do it, like, the people that do commissions and things all the time are gonna have a much more streamlined, like, routine and workflow. 
Especially if you're trying to learn it, you really have to be patient. There's a lot of stuff that's very... It can get very repetitive. <laughs> And there's not always only one way to do things either. Like, this isn't how I like to like animate the hair, but you can actually animate long pieces of hair in this way. Um, by basically breaking it into a bunch of different little like art meshes and using a bunch of rotation deformers that are basically connected to one another. There's, there's always, or sometimes there are uh, more than one, there's more than one solution. So it depends on your preference and things like that as well. So you don't want to call it deep form, I want to call it rotation. Rotation. The life of working with animation is one of repetition and slow progress. Yeah. <laughs> Patience, you knew you forgot something. <laughs> it's true, it's true. There's nothing. I want to rotate from like there. I think this one I'm gonna have the same like degree of rotation going back and forth. The center being is probably more of an anomaly that I needed to rotate a little bit differently. And I might undo that, I don't know. It just looked better. <laughs> but we'll see how it actually moves. Do this for all the different parts. Create our cool key forms. Actually, no, we don't want to make the key forms yet. We want to move this to the right spot before we make the key forms or else it'll it'll jump around and we don't want that we make our key forms i have a feeling that about five degrees is where i'm gonna want this to go yeah and then another Another five, probably? There's, where are the bangs in the front? Thankfully, we don't have to do this for everything. We just have to really do this for the bangs. Anything that, that would be affected by gravity when you move your head and would rotate. We also want the other bangs. Like this one. And you can also reflect um, rotation deformers as well. I just don't really find that it's worth the, the hassle. It's actually faster to make them individually, like in this particular case. And 
another important thing to remember, as far as like your hierarchy of deformers go, you're always gonna have the actual like art mesh at the bottom, which is the art itself. And then you'll have sometimes any number of, of deformers. And you, you'll usually have some kind of like parent deformer that basically holds everything together. And then you want the rotation deformer to be on top of whatever that parent deformer is. Because if you put the rotation any lower in the hierarchy, these like square deformers and stuff get really funky and like they don't work properly. <laughs> Essentially, it'll try and, and, and deform the rotation and not the object. And so I found that out just by trial and error. <laughs> It is also important to make sure that you get all of like the order of all of the the deformers. And if you accidentally put something in the wrong order, it is not difficult to change it. So don't stress about it too much. Gonna head out, have a great time. <gasps> Thank you, Zoronic. Thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate you spending some time on your Monday with me. I hope you have a good rest of your day. See you later. <laughs> I'm not starting to get quiet because I'm actually working. <laughs> Let me turn off the front things for a second so I can see this better. Now look at that, that's something. Look at that egg head. Look at that bald egg. <laughs> I don't want to leave it like that because we need to actually see where the bangs are going. Removing these five degrees seems to look good. Rest of the day is 2 a.m. <laughs> I just say that because I never know what time zone people are in. I have I have viewers that when I stream it's you know six a.m. for them or something. <laughs> Get some good sleep, Zoronic. Have a good rest. Have a good night. Our bangs are moving. They do a thing. Look how fancy. We wait for the save. Let's see. So now that I'm looking at this, I did not. Do these long bangs. So I need to, I need to do that. Okay. Oh, oh gosh, there's so many. I have these turned off, but there's there, there's these longer bangs too. Wait, why is that one invisible? Look, there's even a mesh for it. Why are you invisible? Okay, opacity 100%, blend mode normal. What is going on? What? Hold on. You think you're supposed to be that image? Oh, no, 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 no. No. Hold on. Go to our source image. PSD file. 
want to go to the most recent one. And we need to find... This. You. Okay, so we can right click and set an input image for, for selection, basically. Okay, well now it says it is working, but, um, what? Still invisible. Why are you still invisible? Oh, look, see? It's here. But... It might not be totally, like, in the mesh, but... I don't know why it's not showing up. That's another weird thing that I've seen happen. Like, recently, but I don't remember it happening in older versions. <laughs> it's when you, like, make the art mesh, stuff disappears. That's happened a couple times. It's very bizarre. Why aren't you adding? Okay, fine. We'll do that. And you also want the art mesh to extend out past the line. Because anything that's not included in the mesh is just not going to show up. It'll be invisible. It looks like everything should be included. So where... The model... Why? I think it froze. Oh no. Don't you- don't- oh god, see it did freeze because it just like caught up. Okay, let's just accept that, please. Inappropriate mesh. Okay, well this is your auto-generated mesh, so what's wrong with it? <laughs> You're impressed by the resilience of the Snow Kitty three hours next to a steaming hot cup. It's very cold out in the snow. Snow Kitty is very resilient. Also, Snow Kitty has a scarf. So, I mean, that's interesting. Hi, Rob. How's it going? <laughs> How are you? I love your little mid tea paddle, you. Sorry. Keeps it cold? No, I mean... Snowman and a scarf would keep it warmer, right? Okay. Live shitty. It's like... Freaking out. I hope I don't have to restart this. It's not even letting me do anything. Mouse? Will you accept mouse instead of stylus? No. Hey! Commence panic! Oh my god, like it's... It's trying to do something. I can see it in Task Manager. Oh my god. Let's just cancel. What the heck is up with that? <laughs> You're doing good. Watch something earlier that has made you lose a bet. Oh no! <laughs> I hope it wasn't 
uh, of being lost. Okay. Let me just quickly um, save. And I'm gonna restart it. Cause it I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Sometimes things just need to be restarted. It was nothing to do with money, so everything's okay. It's good. <laughs> and casual, casual betting can be okay, but I've never been one to do like really big bets. I guess I don't really do small bets either. <laughs> I don't like losing. It's weird. I'm not very competitive, but I still don't like losing. <laughs> Live 2D, where are you? You good? Okay. We are we are back, but the thing is still invisible. So that's interesting. See if we can figure this out. Why are you invisible? Go into the mesh edit. What image? Okay. Okay. So it's the right image. Something is off with the with the mesh. Let's see if I try and auto generate a mesh when it's already on there, will it? It's not weird, it makes sense even. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, me... Me and betting? <laughs> it was the most recent death battle, Saitama versus Papa. <laughs> I don't know what... That is, but... <laughs> I cannot imagine Papa won that. Not being competitive, just not like in losing. <laughs> yeah, it's no fun to lose. <laughs> I don't think anybody likes to lose though, so... There's that. Let me see. If I just like make an entirely new mesh... Will it show up? No. You made a bet that if Saitama lost, you'd have to make a video stating why he sh should have lost. <laughs> Oh no, Popeye won. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you should you should eat. <laughs> you should like have like a bucket of Popeye's chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Um. 
no, please. I legit do not know why it's not showing up. Like, why this thing is invisible. Because it clearly has the image here. What happened? Maybe... Maybe if I delete it? And re-add it? What if you do your morning push-ups and you bench? <laughs> your smooth brain just realized who that is. Wait, really? <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> oh wow, that's precious. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide it for a second so I can re-import this file. Hopefully, I can fix why the why the other the bang just gone. Hoping because I deleted it from the model, it'll just give me like a fresh one. It did not work. It's not there. What? In the world? Concerned face. Fair, thank you for the wonderful hospitality. It was relaxing. Have a wonderful stream and keep up the amazing work. <gasps> thank you, Mad Squirrels. Have a good night, okay? Like, bruh, have her emotes and I'm here like, hold up, she looks familiar. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Rob. I thought that's why you stopped by. <laughs> like, the very first thing you did was drop Mincy emotes. <laughs> Oh, that's great. It's a mystery. Right now, I'm attempting to solve the mystery of the hidden invisible bang. This one. This one. Date model image? Nowhere. It's actually nowhere. I, I honestly I feel like this is a bug I think it's bug You drop by because you've been missing out on the streams Well, I appreciate it <laughs> It's very sweet I am glad that you are here, Rob I just thought it was funny <laughs> Invisible vein. Hate to say it, but you might be doing this all in vain. Vain? Bang. <laughs> also, hello, Zelu. <laughs> Bang, as in hairs. Hair. Bangs. Ouija board, magic eight ball, random Google result. <laughs> I might have to actually Google this, because I, I don't. Ugh, I do not know. I do not know what it is doing. But I am gonna undo the leading the, the the piece of the hair. Just in case. You literally saw the hair and you're like, okay, the stream says space kitty, the hair looks minty. <laughs> Oh, 
Luigi word. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the hair is minty fresh. Just don't tell... Just don't tell Mincy that... She has one eyeball right now. And her bald head is still showing. And yet you're still here like, okay, but who do I have? I won't tell her. Your secret is safe with me. Okay, um... Life 2D. Art dis disappeared. Disappeared. Art what disappears with art mesh. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna find a result. Normally it's it's awful to try to Google stuff with this program. When I assign an art mesh to a piece of art, the art disappears. That's what happened. It also won't appear as it should in the texture atlas. I haven't set up the texture atlas yet, so that shouldn't matter. I still select the art mesh, but you can't see it. I believe it means the mesh that formed is open somewhere that causes your art to disappear. Uh, but I deleted the mesh. I just put a box around it. I'm not exactly sure what causes the mesh to be opened when you create it, be found sometimes changing the numbers when you're creating it. To fix it or going in manually. But I tried my own manual mesh. So that, I don't know if that's the right solution. The boo shows you the letters. The boo with the... What? <laughs> you checked your Discord before coming by? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even tell her that I was working on this. <laughs> I mean, she knows that I'm doing some of the rigging on stream. But I didn't tell her that I was doing it today. Okay. This is why Googling stuff for Live 2D is not uh, very good. I was hopeful because I found results in English, which does not always happen. But you get answers like use of real Photoshop file. I am using real Photoshop file. I feel like a lot of the answers are stuff that I'm already doing or already tried. <laughs> it's like... Man. Hmm. Maybe I'll just have to try to figure this out on my own and, and work on something else for right now. I don't want to like sit here and troubleshoot or something. I don't... Oh, well, that's frustrating, though. Have I tried sacrificing a dino nuggy too? <laughs> take the nuggies! To take them! Let me try one more thing. Let me just double check. See, it has like a square art mesh on it now. So it's definitely close. If I make like random... I'll just make like a random mesh. I don't know. Here's more points. Do you like... You, does that make you happy? No, it does not. I have no idea then. I guess it's a bug with the mesh though. Because like it told me that it was an invalid mesh. You said the other night that you'll be drawing something for her. Your plan was to get it done for Friday so she can have it for Christmas. Ooh, you had to scrap it four times? Oh no! I promise it'll be done within the new year. 
That's really sweet, though. Are you sure you had to scrap it? Are you sure? Are you just being hard on yourself? I know what that's like. That's unfortunate that we're getting a bug there. That I'll have to figure out. Well, I think maybe... I might be able to flip the cat ear. I'll take a whole folder and then it'll say, Do you want to copy parts, child objects? Yes. It'll take the whole thing. And then I'm going to paste it. Sometimes it drops it into other folders. <laughs> okay, so now we have two of them. We have two left ears. I'm just gonna rename the, this the folder so I don't get confused about which one's which. This R. Now this deformer is like a parent deformer for the whole thing. So this is the one I'm gonna reflect. I might need to move... Okay, let me try it first. I might need to rearrange some things, but we'll see. So when you reflect it, it'll ask if you want to reflect it horizontally or vertically. And then you can also reflect the parameter as well, which normally you would want to reflect the X parameter, but it does just depend. I think that's what we want. Okay, so here's what I was worried about. It didn't reflect all the way across. I'm gonna undo that. And quickly, I'm just gonna take this deformer. And I'm basically gonna like take it out of all the other deformers that it's, that it's in right now. So that up here, it'll say deformer root. Which essentially means it's the entire canvas is the parent of this deformer right now. So then, when we reflect it... It should reflect perfectly across the whole canvas. Which is fine. And now we need to put it back... In the right deformer. <laughs> so we need to put it back in... The head parent deformer. And I'm just gonna double check that that's the parent of the other ear, and it is make sure these angles are right. Yeah. So I do have some layering things I'm gonna have to do over here. So for right now we have <gasps> we have ears and they move I'm gonna rename finish renaming all these. I label everything with R and L for left and right. So that's the same thing we're gonna do with the eyeballs. Except that the eyeball has a lot more parts than the ear. <laughs> It'll be a, a little bit more complicated when we do that. Not by too much. That's, I mean, that's essentially the gist of it. I'm gonna get rid of the other ear that I had in there that we did not rig. We have that ear. Did you have to scrap it? Probably not. Did you choose to scrap it because you wanted it to be perfect? Yes. <laughs> I know the feeling. I do know the feeling of being a perfectionist. But sometimes with art, you also have to just push forward. And especially if you're not done with it. You also have to trust the process sometimes, too. That things will turn out better once you get all the way through them. Finally home for the... <gasps> the Saiso T-Rex hours. Hello! Hello, Nudge. 
the dubs. <laughs> Time for you head to bed. Good night, Ferris. I'm probably a few minutes too late, but good night. Good luck with the mystery of the disappeared bang. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I have no idea. Cynthia's helped you a lot since you found her. She's given you a safe space. <laughs> you haven't really had for a while, so you wanted it to be as perfect as possible. Yes. I know the feeling. I was nervous showing her this art as well. I was like in my brain. Every time I draw for someone, I'm just totally prepared for them to respond and be like, I hate it. It's awful. Start over. <laughs> art is never done. We just decide when to stop. Exactly, Dino. That's definitely the the hard part to learn. I feel like early on for me, it was like I would stop working on something just because my skill level kind of stopped and I didn't know what else to do with it. Which can still happen sometimes, but more often than not now, it's just I keep refining and refining and refining and refining. Or sometimes I'll just like keep redrawing something. And you kind of have to just be like, okay, this is this is good enough. <laughs> it's time to stop. It's a hard thing to learn. Yeah, isn't that look? Isn't that impressive? The ears, though. Like, you know, they don't look a hundred percent right yet, but like, <laughs> I know it's hard to picture a lot of stuff. Because it all... Like, this is a really good example of working on something that looks very strange until you actually get really close to finishing it. Because a lot of pieces can look weird while you're in the process of it. And, like, a lot of this still looks kind of weird because there's still more that I have to do. Clean it up. Working on the shading of a character's... Beautiful. Maybe I should stop. <laughs> One of the things that I can spend like way too long on is hair. Which ironically is also one of my favorite things to draw and like paint. But sometimes I just I spend way too long. And I'll just add layer and 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 layer. And then I'll delete them all and I'll start over. <laughs> You're getting soup. <gasps> Ooh, what kind of soup? That sounds good. I need food. When you grew up, it was either do it perfectly or give up completely. You've been in that mindset since you were very young. So it's difficult. Oh, I understand. Yeah. I still have a hard time with it because I'm, I'm pretty much a perfectionist <laughs> myself. So I understand it. it um, that's kind of why I call it like a skill to learn. To know when... It's okay to call something finished or knowing when to to drop something and start over versus like pushing through it and trusting the process. I think that kind of stuff just comes with time though. Miso. <gasps> Ooh. What miso? That sounds like so warm and toasty and wonderful. I don't think I have any miso soup. Gosh, we're talking about food today, and I literally have eaten a bagel all day. And we just keep talking about food. <laughs> I'm starting to feel it though, like <laughs> the sleepy. I feel like a lot of times with, with me, I get sleepy before I get hungry. Is that weird? <laughs> you got an eating? I should. But I'm... I'm streaming. You've not eaten anything, so at least you've eaten more than... <gasps> Eat, Rob! You can't do good art on an empty stomach. Parasaur, why have you not eaten? Well... So, like... I wasn't that hungry... When I started. But now I am. <laughs> I must eat to be strong apex predator. 
It's 1.30 a.m. Your day has just started. Wait, that sounds like bedtime. Are you a night owl? <laughs> a T-Rex needs three tons of food a day. <gasps> oh my goodness. Three tons of nuggies, so I need more nuggies. I don't see any though. I don't see no dino nuggies. You can't do good art on an empty stomach. I okay. Look, before I even read the rest of that, Damien, I know exactly what I said and how ironic it was. Okay, <laughs> I am one hundred percent aware. <laughs> Everyone needs more nuggies. Yes, except that also eat vegetables and stuff too, because nuggies is not. I mean, unless you're a carnivore, but like. <laughs> Nobody can survive 100% on nuggies. Here's your nuggies, eat some food. <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you for the nuggies! Mm. And you know, I do... Okay. I've had this like little tin of cashews on, on my desk. But I'm not really in the mood for cashews. Well... <gasps> better than nothing. You're not a night owl, just more of a I'll sleep when your body decides enough is enough. Day two of not sleeping due to insomnia. Oh no. Mm -hmm. That's very I'm very sorry to hear that. I have no solutions. I wish I did. Maybe this music will put you to sleep. <laughs> Very sleepy music. Your dogs usually keep you awake. Pets are good at that. Proteins and complex carbs. Look, okay, cashews. I'm eating cashews now, okay? Look, while I eat cashews, we can we can play. We can play Pose the Mincy. While I eat cashews. We'll, 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 we'll lower the brow. Look, Angie Mincy. And then, then we'll narrow the eyes a little bit. Like a little stare. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Nox, thank you for the raid! Thank you so much! Welcome! Welcome, raiders! What were you doing today? A blade raid! <laughs> blade raid! What were you doing today? Let me give you a shout out! Okay, okay, I'm gonna try... Did I succeed with no spelling errors? <gasps> I did! You're playing Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness. I don't know what that game is. <laughs> that sounds interesting. You're good. How am I? I'm good. Except that I'm getting like hungry loopy if that's a thing. <laughs> I'm rigging a Life 2D model. Having a cozy little time. Chatting away. And not getting a lot of work done. <laughs> It's the fifth game in the series. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why it has like such a long subtitle. <laughs> it's something. We didn't see Angie because you've not been sleeping. Yes, Rob. <laughs> this is what you're gonna get. You get angry Mincy until you sleep. <laughs> Look. This is the mincy face you get until you get some sleep. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm 
remembering the hydrate. Yes. Thank you. Especially with these salty cashews. Oh wait, you know what else we need? Gotta be just gotta be looking looking at you. <laughs> like that or something. One eyed Mincy. Get some sleep. <laughs> if she was live and you told her you haven't slept for two days, she would probably say, Oh no, Robbie, why haven't you been sleeping? You want me to go tell her? I'll just like message her or something. Be like, okay, so Rob Robbie has not been sleeping. And I have tried to summon a death glare of judgment. <laughs> Don't tell her. Guess what though? We have to change this to a happy expression. Cuz. We don't want it to be sad. I guess we just want to leave that then. Be a little bit higher. A little bit more, more normal. And then we... I smile! Happy smile! I kind of like the little, like, toothy smile. <laughs> I need to fix that one a little bit. I don't like how high that curve. Let's just do, like, a nice... A nice smile. Do we do... We do the nice smile. Because... A wild cheesecake has appeared! Because that's a meal. I haven't eaten. So it'll be... <laughs> it'll be a bagel and a slice of cheesecake. Don't tell her she'll be angry. Oh no! Okay. I don't want her to actually be angry at you. Cheesecake. is delicious. Yeah, <laughs> I like that cheesecake. Yes! See, some people... Some people... Like, okay, so like I, I opened this and immediately I found one of my own hairs on. <laughs> for some people, it's like cat hair and stuff. But for me, it's, I, get, I get my own long hair and everything. <laughs> Wearing with, with their diet. <gasps> okay, I haven't had a slice of cheesecake in a very long time. So it's okay, right? Also... I'm like, the only other thing I ate was a bagel, so it's not like I'm eating too many calories. <laughs> um. Oh, that's really good. Um. 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 Hmm. <sighs> I don't know if she'd actually be angry or not, Rob. <laughs> so do you go by Rob or Robbie? Is, is Rob or Robbie? Okay, so Robbie probably. If the bagel and cashews is all... I'm not even kidding. I ate half... I ate half a bagel for breakfast. I ate the other half of the bagel when I started stream and I just ate like a couple of cashews just now. I'm not even exaggerating, that's all I've eaten today. <laughs> Since like... I don't know, like 10 p.m. yesterday was like the last time I ate probably. Before the bagel. <laughs> Go by both, either Rob or Robbie. Okay, no worries. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. I'm sorry. I need to be told to eat food. <laughs> Somebody else usually thinks and reminds me that I should eat before I realize that I should eat. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, normally I don't eat on stream at all, but this time I'm eating twice on stream. Needs to be told to grade another button. Look. <laughs> Look, we already had this discussion yesterday and earlier today. <laughs> don't sound so disappointed. Although, in one streamer's chat, you go by live as an inside joke. Ah. I can see that being confusing, though. You found your job. <laughs> I, okay, so like... I don't wanna... I don't wanna plug my stuff too much, but... My Ko-Fi members... Are my zookeepers, and their job is to get to to the coffee, coffee and dino nuggies. <laughs> That's their entire job. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if you insist, if you insist. I have a tiny Ko-Fi page! I don't have a lot on there, but like... If you're also a streamer, I have like a few little assets. And... I have some commissions. And I have... My zookeepers! Delivers car-sized dino nuggies. <laughs> that is... That is a mini nuggies. That is a big nuggies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Robbie, your name isn't that confusing. I'm just like, if you called someone live, that would be kind of confusing. There was somebody else. They used to be in chat a lot. You had a name that was kind of confusing, like it, it always sounded like I was saying something else, but now I can't remember. <laughs> hey, Mr. Ambig, how are you doing? There was an inside joke for a little while to say happy birthday to me every day because I didn't say, I wouldn't say what my birthday was. So they were like, well, if I say it every day, then, then I won't miss it. But then they would say it, and then everyone else would be like, it's your birthday? <laughs> So it got very confusing very quickly. <laughs> You're doing great. That's good. That's good. I'm currently eating a, ch a slice of cheesecake. And then I will get back to rigging. You've gotten quite a few streams with the happy birthday thing. Oh no, you're doing it on purpose, man! Here's the thing, like, this... The person who was saying it, like, they were trying to be funny, I'm sure, but, like... They were genuinely like, I won't miss your birthday. <laughs> and then they realized they were confusing everyone, so then they stopped. <laughs> I felt like a bunch of people going, happy birthday, and I'm like, it's not my birthday. <laughs> It's a meme and extremely effective. Oh, I made a meme channel in Discord, finally. I did it, I did it. It used to be pretty annoying. Twitch wouldn't let you have capital letters for a while. Oh, really? It was a little unreadable. I think without the capital letters, I probably would have just stopped at Rob. <laughs> just finished your coffee? Ooh. It's always like... I was gonna say the best, but like... When you're like mid-coffee, and it's, it's still nice and warm, and like the caffeine is starting to hit, that's like the best. Just cracked the beer. Yeah, we got... We got some polar opposites. <laughs> you think personally, you also would have stopped at Rob? 
I didn't even realize that they didn't allow different, uh, like, capitalization stuffs. <laughs> I guess... Like, I've had a Twitch for a long time, but this Twitch didn't exist until more recently, so I never tried it. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but like... I would still like drinking coffee at night just because of how relaxing it is. Like, it's always been a very like comfy, cozy kind of thing for me. And I know they have decaf, but... Blech. <laughs> like, warm tea is good too. Like, a nice hot tea. It's the best. You also like it when you get off work. It's nice to relax with hot coffee. Ooh, I've never tried that. I I try to restrict myself to like one cup of coffee, normally in the morning. Every time you tried to change your name, Twitch was like, no. Then one day it just let you. They probably got enough like complaints or people suggesting it. Especially because they don't allow spaces, right? So you either have to do like the capitals or underscores or something. I guess the only thing would be like making sure that their system doesn't like recognize it as a different username. Because uh, you wouldn't want like two people named Robber Robbie Live but have different like capitalizations and stuff. Which obviously they figured out. I don't even know where my brain is going with this. I'm way overthinking this. I am sorry. <laughs> I'm curious now though. Does Mincy stream today? I don't really know her schedule. I really hope this isn't gonna play sound. You better not. You better not, Twitch. Good job, you didn't. And I don't see her live now. Gosh, Twitch is so laggy when I'm streaming. I mean, it makes sense, but like... <laughs> You've not drank coffee in a while. You stopped drinking it over the Christmas period as a reminder to yourself that you don't actually need to drink it to keep you going. You've not had coffee since July... ...of last year? Oh my god. I bet if you drank coffee now, it would be like... It would be... It would probably feel amazing. <laughs> I used to be a bit better and not drink coffee every single day. I'd like switch it out for tea on other days because tea generally... Depending on the kind of tea, it usually has less caffeine. I don't know. At some point, like... I just started drinking coffee every single day and now I can't not because I'll get headaches. Even though I don't drink that much, but I guess it's still enough. Which is kind of a bummer, but I also enjoy coffee. So I've done nothing to change it. You think most tea has is less caffeine than coffee? Yeah. I think even if you drink like a... Like a breakfast tea or something, which is supposed to have more caffeine. I think it's still less than coffee, typically. Hmm. Wait, I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find her schedule now. Does she post schedules normally? Hmm. 
don't think she does. You used to drink this stuff daily and, and you'd have a black, oh, black coffee or black tea? It was unhealthy. Yeah, I mean, I definitely understand wanting to cut out your caffeine intake or cut down on it. I understand that. <laughs> but, I don't know. I guess that's why... Like, to me, I think I found, like, a happy medium of limiting how much I drink. Oh. Oh, no. She's not gonna stream. That's okay. I just decided to check her Twitter. <laughs> You can't figure out how to join my Discord. Oh. Are you are you in the server but you don't have access to it or you don't have the invite link? Let me look see if you are here. I don't have any notifications that anybody tried to join. You're in the server? I don't see. I don't see you. He wants a password. Um, the server does not have a password, like a normal password. Is it asking maybe for your own Discord login? Wait, no, server log. Did you join today? Oh, you're in the rules section. Okay. Yeah, just hit the little uh emote. At the bottom of the rules. If you just click on it and react to it, you should get access to everything else. Oh, oh, oh I see what you mean by password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you do that, you should see everything else open up. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of a lot of servers will have that it'll basically it'll normally say something like react to this post and it just wants you to click on a specific emote like reaction it's just to try to keep out uh, bots and things because bots are not at least right now they're not smart enough <laughs> yeah now you have access do you have the same name on Discord, because I still... Unless you're appearing as offline, I do not see you. Oops. I do not see you. That is weird. Maybe I'm just being blind, though. Oh, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the server. And no worries. I'm happy that I could be here to help. <laughs> Wait, only three weeks? Now that you say that, I do think I saw you join <laughs> before. Some people will like click on it, but then not actually fully enter the server and then they'll just leave after a while because I guess they decide not to. So I figured... <laughs> so I don't really question it when I see people join, but not like, you know, finish reading the rules and everything. <laughs> oh, holy moly. Oh, so many notifications. Okay. You are now a dino friend. Enjoy. Oh, wait, there's memes. Oh, there's memes! Yes! Okay, I have to do this later. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so distracted from my stream. I cannot... See, this is why I try to not look at Discord or Twitter while I'm streaming. Because I will just get sucked in. <laughs> That's fair. I appreciate it. The, the server is kind of small. 
Not it's not super active every day. But it's nice and cozy. Um I did I did do my first event, like community event l last weekend. Yeah, not not this past weekend, but the weekend before. So there will be some stuff like that too to look forward to. You got a slightly different name. Oh no. I always have to change the nickname in, in all the servers that I enter. very slowly and I'm sorry. <laughs> it might be partially because I'm chatting, but mostly I just I just I'm slow. <laughs> Doesn't Minty have such a cute smile though? I mean, look at this. I think it's a cute smile. See my time? Am I creating art for someone? Yes, so I am. Uh, this is a model that I'm reading for Miss Mincy Moon, who won a raffle that I did. Uh, I did the raffle in October. It ended at the beginning of November, and so I did the art, and I am now rigging it. <laughs> it is a process. You've returned, and now you're in the server. Welcome to the server! I think you follow her on Twitch too? Oh, nice! I, I've raided her like a few times. <laughs> Probably like half a dozen times. Plus, I like to read her when I'm, you know, working on, on her. But she's not, uh, not streaming today, unfortunately. Okay, so now I remember I was trying to figure out what happened with the... With the disappearing bang, but I did not figure it out. So we flip the ear. I don't want to flip the eye yet. Because if I end up making any changes, I'm going to have to do it all over again. And it is a little bit of a process. Perhaps. Yeah, I don't want to do like all the tedious stuff. Even though sometimes that's the easier stuff to do. <laughs> You also made the rules email number 69. <laughs> Good job. You you win a golden uh it uh dis discord. Yeah. Uh <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Here's your invisible trophy. <laughs> You win... You win a Discord. <laughs> okay, I've been kind of dreading the hat. Not gonna lie. But maybe I didn't make the head angles too drastic. Maybe it'll be okay? Question mark? Hmm... Is the back also in this? No. I think it needs to be. Go figure out... You need to be. Is that 
And with the rest of the hat, Like that's not there either. Wait. Okay. No, it's fine. Oh, a singular Discord. <laughs> Welcome back, Frozen. Fro Fro. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Fro Fro. <laughs> Your brain gave up. You read elemental as M M M. Wait, no, this hurts my brain. Elemental, <laughs> like a mantle. Welcome back, Fro Fro. <laughs> okay, I have to, I have to do this. I have to do it. What kind of perspective would this even have? I need to. I need to. It wouldn't really change perspective, would it? it over to start with. I'm trying to find like a nice in between because I'm gonna have to deform it. Hello, true welcome. <laughs> Frozen says, call me Fro Fro. It's cute and a lovely nickname. Okay. <laughs> I will do so, Fro Fro. Frozen Emblemantle. <laughs> I am to rebrand Fro Fro <laughs> as Fro Fro Emblemantle. <laughs> Maybe I might need more divisions in this. We'll try it with these cards. This is already like it looks too squished. Way too squished. So I'm gonna have to do all the pieces separately. Ring. No, rim, rim, deform. Wait. Hmm. Can I use the perspective on that, or am I gonna need to refine that more? Okay, place to start. Deform, deformer. <laughs> fro Fro LLC. <laughs> G 
trademarked and copyrighted. It was supposed to happen. <laughs> okay. That could be like... Like your alt account. <laughs> it's so cool you want to learn how to animate? Yeah. Um, if you are unfamiliar, this is... Live 2D. Um, essentially what we're doing... If you look at my, my beautiful self here... Um, so, I am... I am all 2D art, right? But I, I move around like I'm in 3D. What we are doing right now is we are taking 2D art that I have already created. And we are... Uh, rigging it to look 3D. So that it can... Be used... For, for face tracking and streaming. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the hat. I'm not gonna lie. This is... That is, um... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can perspective that a little bit. Gotta love surprise ads. No! No! The stuff is sorcery. <laughs> it is technically all... An illusion. Hmm... Hmm... That's just making it look too flat, though... Maybe I deformed the... The grim way too much... Would the hat... Come down at all? Like... Would it move? Like that or something? That doesn't really look right. I told Mincy this hat was gonna be like the bane of my existence. more oh gosh wait another five what e what do you Oh boy. Oh boy. Everyone is in ads right now. <laughs> Quick! I need to rig the hat. Nobody can see my mistakes. Would this go... Would this come over even more? Not you. <laughs> I didn't even think you were still here, Kia. <laughs> You can see everything. Okay, look, if you don't have a sub badge, don't announce that you can't see ads because then we all know that you use ad blockers. <laughs> I don't care personally. I do not. Some people... Some people do. Yes, because Mortimer was a kind and generous soul. Thank you, Mortimer! No, you're fine. You're fine. I feel like the hat is oh, this base is okay. No, okay, I don't like that. Now I need to fix the brim. Which I distorted with perspective, and I probably shouldn't. So let's undo undo the perspective distort. Now it's back to normal, and then we will just kind of slowly nudge. 
budget I believe the band is gonna cover that empty space once I move that over so I don't really need to worry about that basically this part on the left is gonna be kind of scrunched I'm gonna need to roll a little bit farther. And I always feel bad about the ads though, like... I know anyone else who streams... Probably feel the pain, like... I don't know. I wish I could just turn them off. They don't really benefit me in any way. Oh man, doing the other angle is gonna be... Oh, it's gonna be so hard. Okay, so I'm gonna have to squish it so much. Turn the band back on. You feel all the pain with your zero ads seeing how you're not affiliated yet. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow win. Thank you. Just add an eye patch. No. The missing eye is not a problem, I promise. There will be two eyes when we are done. <laughs> promise. I just want to be like 100% sure that I don't need to tweak the eyes at all before I reflect it. Because otherwise I'll just have to reflect it again. <laughs> I did that so many times on my own model. I like reflected the eye really early and then I kept making adjustments. <laughs> it was such a pain in the butt. I want to do it again. Nudge, we nudge. Actually, perspective might have worked on this a little bit. Wait, wait. First, no, undo that. I think I need to like drag it over. My wait, what? <gasps> the clipping ID. Oh, I knew that wasn't okay. I knew it wasn't gonna work the whole time. Okay, get rid of that. You. You should be clipped. Why are you not clipped? Being a VTuber seems cool, but it also looks like a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> I think, I mean, if you if you want to stream in general, it's a lot of work in different ways. Well, being a VTuber definitely requires a lot more preparation work versus turning on a webcam. I would say once you have your model and your setup, you could argue that it's less work because you don't have to like get all dressed up and stuff if you don't want to. But yeah, whether you're doing 2D or 3D, there's a, a lot of work that goes into it. And I have to stretch this to make sure it fills that whole void. Hmm. I guess I could like 
I mean, luckily it's mostly a solid color. I'm gonna have to think of something creative to mask this properly though. Down here where it's showing is what I was doing before is not going to work unfortunately. I do like that I finally got this uh, Life 2D like comfortable to use with my tablet. It feels a lot nicer to like move things around with the stylus versus the mouse, but that's just my personal preference. Oh, not even close. Being a streamer is a lot of work. The only difference you know is that VTubing is a lot more expensive. Um, it is if you... Uh, I mean... It is. It can be. It definitely... For most people... It can be from what I understand. Um, there's also people like me who don't want to pay for any of it and just do it themselves. <laughs> but then, of course, that takes a lot more time. But it's not impossible. And then there's lots of people who also, you know, use PNGs or uh, Vroid as well. It's not a bad place to start because you can make a decent Vroid model for free as well. Like, there's, there's different avenues for it. If you're talking, like, getting that really, really high-end professional stuff, having to pay for someone who has those skills is pretty typical uh, in any market. You cannot make your own models, and commission rates are very expensive. True. I understand. I do understand, Frozen. But also, they're expensive because of how much work goes into them. <laughs> like, not to say that there's nobody that inflates their prices, because I'm sure there- I'm sure there is. But generally speaking, it does take a lot of work and a lot of knowledge and skill and expertise. We're getting somewhere with this angle. throwing me off because this part this like band is coming down here but that actually stops up here you do have a point though because you're only mentioning having a fully rigged model you run a pretty simple overlay with the png in the corner and it wasn't that expensive yeah i i mean i understand the argument i do so well Point. It's not an argument. <laughs> yeah. I think... Hmm. I'm trying to think of how to say... Because this wasn't my exact experience, so I don't know if I can really speak to this that well. But I do wonder why... 
Like, okay, I understand, but also people who are just starting out and, and have never streamed before, um, like they don't have any kind of like presence as as that VTuber persona, and then they pay like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars or something ridiculous for like all the really high end stuff immediately. I understand wanting nice things. But it is normal that when you start out doing something that you don't have all of the really high end stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of just rambling. <laughs> Thank you for the ornament, bro. <laughs> this is. Hung Hungry Rex rambling. I'm sorry. It's a good conversation, though. I do enjoy having the conversation. I just don't know that I'm articulating myself very well right now. <laughs> Thank you for the ornament, bros. <laughs> I'm doing great, you guys. <laughs> I'm trying my best. It can be it can be a sensitive subject though, I guess. That's why I wanna make sure that I'm like speaking clearly and like precisely <laughs> and making sense. Stream music is very chill while you're yeah, your dungeon master screeching like oh. <laughs> Start contrast. You know, I've never done any like tabletop like role playing stuff before. I think it would be fun, but I don't know if I'd be any good at it. I feel like I wouldn't. <laughs> and three different campaigns? I do have... I do have friends that... That, uh, do that. And they're in, like, a bunch of different campaigns. I'm just like, that seems like so much to keep track. <laughs> and that's also a lot of work and stuff that goes into that too, right? To look like too skewed. No, that's too far. There's a lot of pressure for people who enter the VTubing community to have a professional setup if they don't see the smaller VTubers or people who started recently. That's very fair. It is a very fair point. Um Especially since most people are introduced through, you know, like, the big... At the very least, a big indie VTuber, but probably, like, Hololive or Vishojo or Ni Nijisanji or something. So I definitely understand that. People thinking that, like, they can't do it unless it looks like that. <laughs> you must admit that you even felt that pressure. Yeah. Same. I mean, I did too. We can change the subject if you want it. No, I mean, I don't, I don't mind talking about it. But I also know that my experience with all of it is... Not different from everybody, because there are definitely a fair amount of people that do make their own stuff. But the majority don't, so it's, it's kind of like... I can only really speak as an observer in a lot of... Uh, context? Does that make sense? <gasps> Hello, Ultimate! Welcome back! <laughs> Terror! <gasps> Mr. Abig! Has Regine placed the star? 
Let's place the star. Thank you so much. We only get one every stream. <gasps> it makes me so excited. Oh. You ready? Ready. Ta da! Oh, that's a huge star. <laughs> Thank you so much for the star. Oh, I am good. <laughs> but you fantasized about starting VTubing a little in the dub. It's fun. <laughs> I mean, I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't fun. It can just be either difficult or expensive to start doing. <laughs> It's cute, thank you. <laughs> so I planned to do this anyway, but it kind of turned into the joke that since I don't have a real Christmas tree this year, that I am the tree. <laughs> and I get decorated every stream. Or both. Yeah. That's also fair. <laughs> I mean, like, the tools and things that I used to make my own model, like apps and my and my tablet and stuff, were things that I already had. But if you if you didn't have them, it would be expensive. So there's that too. I don't know. I don't know if I will, but like, I kind of want to commission like a. A background artist because it's like one of those things where uh, I probably could, could do it but I don't know how well I don't really do like background landscapey stuff very much but I haven't because then when I think about it I'm like but I could do it <laughs> it's kind of the struggle of doing it all yourself is you, you kind of I don't even think about getting anybody to help me most of the time. <laughs> it's just trying to figure it out myself. Or do it myself. And then it takes much, 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 much longer. Because, like, instead of, you know, you can commission different people to work on different things at different times. I know there's wait lists, but I know that's the thing, too. But hypothetically, you can have, like, different people working on different elements at different times. You could technically probably start faster if you got everything together. But even even when I do models, I mean, there's probably going to be some kind of wait list just because it takes so much time, you know? Let's see, do I need to move it or can I just try and like... I want to try and move it in like a similar way that I moved the rest of the hat so that it looks similar. Is this supposed to be like all the way up here? Oh my god, it is. Sometimes parts of the deformers don't even do anything. It's like all the artwork is down here, and so these, like this corner, literally does nothing. <laughs> you lurk for now, all the moms. Hope the model goes well. Thank you. Enjoy your lurk. Hope I'd be okay with messaging. Uh, yeah. Of course. Unless it's something bad. Unless it's criticism about me. <laughs> that sh doesn't, shouldn't know. But, but, how would that look? Would it be. Gosh, I can't do a lot with it.
Hmm, do I need to glue those together? Hmm. And then I also kind of designed this with the idea that you might see this start to peek up a bit. I don't think you would see it a whole lot just from turning. Yeah, that part gets kind of stretched. I feel like it should be like down there or something. Maybe we need to fix the rim. Anna, Anna, go. Down here. Nothing bad, you anxious bee. <laughs> okay, okay. You called me out. Yes, I am an anxious bean. I am. Not gonna lie, I have... <laughs> have a lot of Discord notifications to catch up on. <laughs> One million doll hairs. That would be... <laughs> Either great... We're really funny. We're all anxious beings. There. Except... Except not right now. Because right now we have... We have chill cozy stream. Yes. Does that move too much? Oh, I can't... Tell. I can't decide. Is that... Maybe for just turning. Okay. Hi, hi, kitty cat. What are you eating? Hey, hey. See you. Don't, don't roll over and beg for belly rubs. You're not a dog. I know you think you're a dog, but you're not. If you want belly rubs? You gotta come here. She's just staring at me like I'm crazy. Another anxious bean you can see the other way. <laughs> okay, enjoy your lyric, Frozen. Oh my god, I wish I could show this to you. My cat is literally... So, her favorite thing is belly rubs. She is just rolling around on the floor. Like just out of reach. Like with her belly up. Belly wrap me. <laughs> it's so cute. You're too far away though. I have to ignore you. I'm sorry. Give me belly rubs later. I promise. Especially when you jump on me in the middle of the night. I always found like these random, like small little like bruises and stuff. I realized... Like, I never felt them. They never hurt. And I realized it's my freaking cat. They're all little... Little paw-sized. They just jump on me and run on me. And, like, they don't care. <laughs> what did I do to you? Or then give you a home and food and love. You were you you are nothing without me. I'm just a treehouse to play on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're like, oh look, a nice warm lap. Okay, they don't they don't know any better. But sometimes. <laughs> Oh no, I have to do it all over again. This is what always happens. Like, you spend all this time, like, on one particular angle, and then you are like, oh god, now I have to do it one, two, three, four, five, seven more times. 
time. how much I was going to need to change the draw order on all of this stuff. I didn't set the draw order for anything, so everything's the same draw order. I guess I'll, I'll leave the head at 500 where it starts by default. So I can move things up and down. I'll, I'll, I'll move everything else lower. <laughs> So basically, in Live 2D, um, it has a layer system that works very similarly to other like drawing apps like Photoshop and stuff where it orders the layers based on whatever is at the top of the list is on top of everything else. But it also has what's called a draw order. Everything starts at default at 500. But you can actually change it to make different items basically move and like change layers. And it's really, it's useful for things like the head turn like this. Because essentially we can have them all like on the same draw order here. And then when you turn, you can actually keyframe like a different draw order moving an item up or down. But it can get complicated. <laughs> so I guess my solution is to try to give certain parts of the body like a range. Of maybe like... Just to be safe, probably like a hundred or so. Because you're probably not going to need more than like... It goes from zero all the way to a thousand. So if you gave everything a hundred, that's still ten different like sections. Like, I'll probably give, like, the head 100, and then I can move everything on the head up and down when I need to. Now, I knew I was going to have to do some stuff with draw orders, like the bangs here, how they're on top of the face at this angle, when really they'd be behind the face. But I'm going to have to do all kinds of stuff with the ears and hat. <laughs> Kind of helped me to start with the base of the hat. Let me just turn some of these other things off. Do I need to move the whole thing though? I would technically move back if it would follow the ear. We can kind of use the ear as a guide for where to place it. And like this, we're not going to worry about the ear peeking out right there because um, we it's showing up because of the ellipse extended interpolation. And while we're rigging, everything's on linear, so it'll it'll look a bit different right now. But it should match up fine when we're done with it. Yes, I wonder. I feel like. Actually, let me just try the perspective again. I feel like ever since I discovered this, I always have to like see if it, if it's gonna help. Before I start doing everything individually or not. Uh, no. But no. That's not right. I'm probably going to use it when it comes to like... Different 
maybe like the up and down and like these like kind of corner angles that we have to do. Yeah, and this needs to be formed so much. It's like, hmm. I probably maybe shouldn't have painted like the shadows on this layer. That's part of why I feel like I have to distort it so much, is to try to get these shadows to look like they're in the right place. That's actually sticking out too far. Because in order to sit on the head where I have the head, stop like right here. Oh dear. Hello, be right to back. Hold on. about that my my cat started coughing up a hairball <laughs> fun time she's good she's fine pet hello we 
them and live without them. Wow, okay. This hat needs a lot of work. Oh, hey. Okay, let's go back to a level two edit. I get this close before we try and like refine it a bit. doesn't move at all. It doesn't move, right? Who puts an alarm in their song? Don't do that. are like universally hated by everyone. It would have been easier or more difficult to glue some of these pieces together. Because, like, glue can be very useful, but it can also make things look strange, I think, if you put it in the wrong places. It basically causes different meshes to, like, bug on each other. Seems to be straighter. And up here too. It should be like the edge should be like nice and straight like that. Obviously gonna have to go back to this hat. Okay, 
did I, did I, I'm just trying to get the, like, the general shape down. Did I make the hat look taller by accident? <laughs> is the question. I think this corner looks just a little... Maybe like this? Make it big, give her that Doug... Doug Jimador? <laughs> no! I mean, like, you have to be careful when you're... ...deforming stuff, but like, between different angles... ...you know, it wouldn't look right for the, the hat to suddenly get ginormous only when you look... ...to the left, you know? <laughs> We're getting closer, I think. But... ...still not quite... This part of the hat feels like it shrinks. Turn that up a little bit. We still have to do the brim and everything else too. That might help. I'm gonna bring the bendy part maybe over here. to make it easier to move stuff around. It's like the perspective on this hat changes so drastically just from a simple head. <laughs> Picture this in my my big dino brain. What the hell? Like? Okay. Okay. 
No. Okay. Grim would not come down that far. In fact, would it be even more like even more like drastic? Back again. Line it up and see if it looks. This is hard to picture. I feel like I need reference photos for this. Maybe I do. <laughs> It does get too short, actually. It's quite a bit taller than the caddy, right? Angled that hard, her turning her head left would expose more of the underside. Yes. Yes, it would. I think... Maybe I need to draw in more of that underside there. Basically, this, this whole section here should be like the underside of the hat. 
maybe I can stretch the artwork around because it's kind of the solid color right there. I'm thinking I might need to draw like a separate something to <laughs> mask. The band into because you shouldn't be seeing this part underneath the rim either. That's a whole nother thing. Like it's too less. Would you say less on this side? But what more on the other side? any of the like the hat starting to pick up over here or no You know what? I'll even... I'll even make them even today. <laughs> Hello! You're very welcome for the stream! <laughs> the stream which has become... How... How would hat look? <laughs> the stream. <laughs> feeling OCD today? No, I was feeling nice. <laughs> I thought you would like it better. <laughs> That's all. I can have my moments, right? The hat stream. <laughs> Wait, I'm not nice. You know what? Fine. Fine. I. You know what? There. Now you can't even barely see it anymore. No, this is it now. It's too late. I'm not. Ch I'm not moving it back. <laughs> too late now. I 
I'm going to have to keyframe the art meshes to try to fix these weird wobbly... Wait, maybe that was... This line's getting weird. I'm deforming it so much. I break... No! <laughs> uh... Oh my god. It's been five hours already? Oh... Like oh okay, I mean I didn't, it didn't feel like it to me, but <laughs> that's fine. Would we see this? Wait, wait, would it come up like that? No, maybe. I don't know. It didn't look right though. Just, just scrunch, scrunch it. Where nobody will will see it, nobody will know. The real truth of behind Live 2D. Just hide the unpleasant things. Just squish, just squish them behind the other things so you never see them. <laughs> Welcome back, Zero. <laughs> Isn't that the real truth behind art? <laughs> For some reason, whenever I see cutie, that was like cutie, but my brain thinks of like QTE, like quick time events. Why does it do that? Why does my brain do that? Look, I don't think that this hat looks that, that bad, considering. Considering... Right? Not that bad. He thinks of QTE. Yes! <laughs> Too many video games. <laughs> Why can you see the green from the inside? Because it needs to... I need to mask it somehow. Is a bit discombobulated. What well, is right now? <laughs> like there's still lots of things to poke out. I need to be fixed. To me, it's kind of like... Like molding clay. You get the form. And then when the form looks alright, then you go in and you nitpick and you refine everything. Otherwise, you're just gonna redo a lot of work over it. Can you think about this? Wait. Think about what? The hat? Sorry, that's what I was looking for. Found it. Here. You're obviously in the wrong place.
What are the two black shadows for in the sides? These, this bit? It's like the part of the hat that curls up. But I'm not sure how well it works on, on the angles. get the shape of it that's off because you'd assume it's meant to follow the same curve as the bottom of the hat. Hmm, it probably would go out further. Because it's supposed to be a, a cowboy hat and they do have like the you cannot see my hands. <laughs> they have like the little parts of the like the, the brim that like curve up. move if you take a sip in real life? <laughs> no. Technically, it's not part of my model. It's just... like an extra asset. <laughs> that would be cute, though. Shadows on that? What? Great. Okay. What happens if I like pull this all the way up? for this to not look like doo doo. Where's the shadow? On that. There. should be poetic. <laughs> hmm. 
The references were basically a couple different kinds of cowboy hats and also the reference that I was given to work with, where it was very, like, rounded, not very flat. So I tried to kind of get, like, an in-between, but it was still kind of true to the reference. Yeah, I know the shadow needs work. I know, I know. Yeah, it is 2D. Time for some progress. Time to me. <laughs> really? <laughs> what does side jiggle do? <laughs> what do you mean you talk? <laughs> you think I'm just a floating head? Hmm? You think this is all there is to it? Just the head. <laughs> Have a good night, Mr. Ambig. Thank you for hanging out for a while. My my hat stream. How am I gonna jiggle my thighs in the motion sensor? Are you standing on the table? There is there is one and one way for you to find out. Exactly one way. I'll never get over how my reaction to anyone asking about the thigh jiggle redeem the first time is just funny. <laughs> it's been like the most controversial thing. <laughs> Nothing, we're just talking about my thighs again, apparently. <laughs> How does a thigh jiggle? You jiggle the thigh. You still need points. <laughs> thigh too. <laughs> Maybe one stream. One stream will just be <laughs> to make it easier to look at right now. Let's just... There. No, 
the shiny thing. Oh no, I can't do it this way because then the shiny bit here sticks out. Bah. Sometimes that's what happens when you try new things. Wait, no, I want to fix that. Either I'm gonna have to draw a mask or something, or you try new things and you F up all your eight hours of work, get good. Free part. I know how you get good at something. <laughs> it's from doing exactly that. It's effing up for eight hours. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh dear. Why are we singing baseball bats right now? What's happening? What is happening? Back, back it up. <laughs> back it up. Gather, why are you participating? You're supposed to be above this. Oh dear. I'm just I'm just trying to smush this. I know it seems like a weird solution, but it's like the only way to preserve Flipping the shine into that like band, the shiny bit. And basically, if I clip this green band into anything else, it's gonna mess up the shine. If I can avoid clipping it all together, then it'll it'll fix the other the other map from having issues. And by issues, I mean like it would I wouldn't even be able to mask it otherwise. And I'll let you mask one thing. <laughs> even for two D. <laughs> Sometimes the process looks funky, and that's just part of life. If you think that if you think that this beautiful T Rex model didn't look really funky sometimes, then you are wrong. <laughs> what you meant as a <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. We can't figure out how the shadowing and lighting on an artwork works. 
What do you mean you don't, you don't fill the colors in? What do you mean? I mean, the only way to get better is to uh, try it, right? Maybe look up some videos? You fill the base colors and make a new layer and try to add some lighting effects and mess it all up. Once you did it on the same layer as the base colors and had to scrap the whole thing. Hmm. I mean, it depends. Every artist has like a different workflow, but for me, I tend to separate all of my different base colors onto their own layer. And then I have the shading, probably in several different layers, like clipped onto the base. Some people will do all of their shading on one layer and all their base colors on one layer. And it works for them, but not for me. Just in the Here's the thing though, if I change the shape of like the head at all, I'm gonna have to <laughs> redo that anyway. Okay. You'd make multiple layers, but your laptop is pretty low on RAM. And every layer you add eats up. Oh, that's fair. That can be difficult to work with when you have a limited space. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there for the night. I know the hat still, <laughs> still needs a lot of refining, but I kind of just need a break from looking at it for a bit, I think. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to step away and come back later with with fresh eyes. It's been like five and a half hours, so I think a break is due. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me while <laughs> during my rigging, my hat rigging stream. The no stream ends. Wait, yeah, uh, playing something? No, <laughs> no stream ends. That's gonna be it for tonight. It's already been five and a half hours. I need, I need some real food. <laughs> yes. Um, I will be, will be back on Wednesday. We're gonna have a cozy little Christmas stream on Wednesday, okay? We're gonna play... What's this? A, it's hard to build a snowman. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. It's a cute little, like, cozy puzzle snowman building games. And I might have a surprise for you. <laughs> You should be there, okay? I'll see you on Wednesday. Let me look and see real quick. 
<laughs> I think we're gonna raid my friend Tina, who's playing Valorant. <laughs> Good night, everybody. You should be able to use that command. I don't know why you can't. <laughs> Is there any message? Make sure you stick around for some dino nuggies, okay? <laughs> <laughs>